Oh, oh now it's responding. All I'm say just check the link I put in the group chat on Skype. So I'm definitely gonna check that. Yeah. I'm uh, just like make sure you give him the articles so when I do it appeal, I can like try to see I if I can get I did some money give him the articles yesterday. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm talking about for something. We're else. talking about soon our school. Oh. Yeah. Oh, totally. Cheap skates. Fucking mother. Trucking. They were disgusting. Now when we live, you know. Now we're live. All right. Hello, everyone. Epic Steve here. Welcome to Night's Podcast. Uh, Minnows will tell you what season episode it is. Go on to Minnows. Season 5, episode 10. Yeah, we're 10 episodes in. Right. Suko, you finally here? Mm-hmm. What? Tuko, tuko, muko. Are you in this podcast today? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's like every fisherman. He's like where every fisherman is ever at. At the dock, buddy! So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You're me. I just wanted to check on everybody. Oh, yeah, what up, Suko? That's Suko, Duko, Puko. Oh, he's here. Oh, what's yeah. up, man? Up, I just want to check on everybody. That's all. You sound tired. Where, where you been? What have you been doing, man? Yeah. Ass Maybe. epic. Work. Every day. Work, 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 work. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. We live. We live. We can't do it. We can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> DC, go ahead. Do your intro. Superstar DC here. Okay. And how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Later. Later. Like, See you later, Sudo. Bye. Nicole <clears throat> and the Ago. Yeah, what's poppin'? What's good? Your favorite multiracial Puerto Rican, Nicole San Diego. What's poppin'? He'll say you those good words for you. Say you those good words. <laughs> hot sock. Yo, it's your boy Hot Sock. I'm a little sick right now, but that's why I've been missing some... Uh, some of the podcast, but it's good to be here tonight. The only thing that matters is that you're still alive. Yeah. And not coughing up an organ, too. Yay. I, I gave you something, buddy. I shot somebody in the dick in your name. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, that's screwed up. If yeah. you don't know, I'm playing the new podcast. Call of Duty right now. Uh, it won't start podcast. I like the... Uh, some was brought to my attention today, actually. I did not notice. Last year... A YouTuber by the name of Apollo Legend um, made the ultimate decision. I did not know he did. So, uh, rest in peace to him. He was only 26. Well, Those side is not the way out, everybody. No. It's not. If you're ever feeling down, make sure you call the Suicide and Health Line and make sure you yeah, talk to somebody because, you know, your life matters and people care. So don't. Yeah, don't feel like you need to... Talk to those you're close to as well. That also helps greatly. Yeah, so yeah, I'll put put some links in the description for helplines and stuff like that. It uh, was brought to my attention today. I did not know last year he made the ultimate decision. I know he said he was taking a break from YouTube. I didn't know it was going to be a permanent one. So, yeah. Also, like, this is just a side, and this is not like a joke or anything. Saying positive things to people out of nowhere really helps. If you don't think it helps, no, it, it, it helps. Like, saying, hey, Epic, I, um, I hate your internet, but, um, um, but I like your personality. Just, like, it, you know, even though it comes off as a joke, like, just say nice things every so often. And get, I won't say give them a hug, but, you know, dap them up, check up on your homie. Say some nice things here and there. Like, no slight, no, not kidding, that, that helps sometimes. Yeah. But your internet still sucks, uh, Epic, but, uh, yeah. It's right. Anyways. But, yeah, that's, I didn't, wow. Well, I don't know yeah. what to say. I mean, I did not know. Like, I was watching the uh, Omni video, shout out to Omni. Uh, you know, he was reading an article about it. I was like, wait, this dude's gone? And it just, it, it hit me. I'm like, I, I didn't know. I just, last video I saw of his was when he said he's taking a break. 
and I thought that's what he was doing. Yeah. As big as he was in the speedrunning community, I'm surprised more people didn't talk about it. That's just crazy to me. Yeah, I might disagree with some of his uh, opinions, but uh, I still, you know, good content creator, good, good dude. Uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, it's very unfortunate. But yeah. Uh, sorry to start on a somber note. Let's uh let's get into these sponsors. Try to yeah. liven it up a bit. And I am Menos. In case any, anyone else was wondering, <laughs> how have you guys been today? Ugh. Let's well, just get into now. it. Not good now. Not good now. Wow. Let's start with Inner Server. You can start off with Inner Server for just two hundred fifty. No, no, no. Two, $2.50 per month. I must say, there ain't no 250 bucks, bro. You, they, they're going to get mad at us for <laughs> spreading across the nation. <laughs> uh. We're going to give that client some heart attacks saying that. Jeez. Yeah, $250 a month. Uh, they, they're not. Yeah, $2.50 All this threw month. me off and almost messed up my ability to read. All right, go go ahead and screen share it. That, that maybe you could read it better there. Yeah. We we actually have our um secretary here today, so you can let her read because she's no more eloquent with speaking than we are. Yeah. What am I speaking of? This right here. Okay, give me up. It's not showing up for my end. Give me one second. You can choose plans for either eight a month, six a month, or forty nine dollars a month if you're one if you're really huge. Or your huge. website is really yeah. huge. Yeah, it's unlimited. It's, uh, uh, it's, a, it's like a hardware replacement guarantee, hard drive up two hundred gigabytes, memory eight gigabyte, has Xeon E three twelve thirty. I mean it's a you know, thirty day money back guarantee. 99.9% uptime, which is the higher you're going to get because you never get 100. But I mean, no hidden charges. And you could pick your plan. So, mm-hmm. I mean. But if you don't want to be paying all that, I can just do it all for you for one price. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to San Diego if you want a website built. And only the Nicole San Diego. Don't hit me up. Yeah, only yeah, Epic up. Hit up Nicole San Diego. Yeah. And I think that I gave DC or Epic the link to my website like a few episodes back. So you guys can just check out the website, designersofthearts.com. And you can just pretty much shoot me an email or if you have any other projects that you need, like illustration, music, all that good stuff. You can email anyone else that is on that website as well. Yeah, email her. Don't ask for her phone number from us. I don't know. Epic don't know. Email her and ask for help. Don't bother us. If you do call and I don't answer, I most I most likely respond faster to emails opposed to phone calls. Yeah. Yes. Also, yeah. Huh? Sorry. Oh, and also what you're looking at, too, that is my other YouTube channel that is strictly for music. Go ahead and check that out. I haven't been on there in a moment, but, yeah, that's most likely for music that I create myself. Yes, all instrumentals that you hear do belong to me except for the first video. Other than that, all instrumentals on there are mine. Nice. All right, up next, Razor. Oh, DC does Razor. Uh, uh, Razor, go get your stuff from there to wave. From laptops to, from, you know, Razor. Get your PC parts from them today. Go get Razor stuff from headphones, laptops, mics, everything, computer products you need that will glow in the dark that you can feel the that you can feel the gamer energy. Go get it from Razor, man. I'm talking about yeah, they yeah. have they even about to have a product that you can inject in your veins and you can run at. Six thousand hertz per second. That that's not true. That's that's a lie. But <laughs> get it, like you can get a, I don't know, some PC parts that make you feel like a gamer god. 
Yeah, Razor, go get yourself another day. And if you guys need suggestions, these technical computer building gods over here on this channel will help you out. To our best ability. Yeah. Just know you're not going to get a graphics card, but I still can't get those. <laughs> Same. Yeah, 100%. those are still selling out. Selling well, out. Well, I, I, I hear from a little... I hear from a little birdie. I don't want to give anything away that we might graphics cards might come down in price by December, but I don't you know, don't quote me on that. <laughs> I want homework from him. Quote him. If he doesn't get you the right quote, you get another quote again. <laughs> if you don't, call it now. If you don't like the quote, call it now. You can get an extra quote for free. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get my graphics card. <laughs> Up oh, next, get response. Nicole? Okay, hold up, hold up. Get response. All the good stuff for coding that they got. And what is this? Uh, this is for, like, mostly marketing that they have over here. If you wanted to do your... If you want to go to them for marketing, hey, there you go, to. If you want to pay monthly, go to them. If you want one price with free updates if you need it, I do it for you for one price, of course. And whenever you need an update, hey, all you got to do is just shoot me an email. And finally, yeah. Daz 3D. Daz 3D. I got this one. <clears throat> Listen, like it says, the key to your 3D universe, It. I mean, this is it's here. And if you don't even use it for modeling, use it for the NVIDIA IRI renderer. I showed <laughs> Hot Socks renderer, and he was blown away. It's amazing. It it just looks phenomenal. It's close to Pixar you'll get, you know, because that's proprietary with them. But yeah, it's it's amazing. And all that you're looking at right now was made using Dash 3D, the, the NVIDIA IRI renderer. You can move this into any of the programs, whether it be Unity, Unreal, you name it. Das 3D, wonderful, wonderful thing. You can download it absolutely free. Every week it gives you weekly freebies, whether it be environments, models, whatever. And that's it for our sponsors. Learn, learn. Anything else before we know? move in? Hey, I was about to say. Oh, wait. We know we don't say this often, but whoever watched this, please... Like and you know, like, share, subscribe, do what you got to do. Spread this video a lot. Uh, spread this video around to make sure we get you know get more eyes in, so we can start doing more stuff. To you know, more stuff we want to give back to the community. So we just need y'all to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, you look nice today. Did you do something with your hair? You look very pretty, or <laughs> handsome, whatever you prefer. Steve. Like, yes. <laughs> Steve, it's like we've been gone for we we wasn't gone for that long, but trust me, like you look good. All right, we're going with the show. All right, Something on our fans is a thing he just did. Anyways. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that I don't cry, but that almost teared me up when I saw that message from her. I was like, I didn't cry, but that almost teared. That, that got me good. That got me good. It was like oh. yo. Eve. <laughs> our childhood. I was like, yeah, dang, my childhood. He went to college, bro. He he's a he's a veteran. He's a man that saw war in his eye. That saw war. <laughs> ADC right in the childhood, man. Right in the childhood. <laughs> right then. Got the me childhood. feeling. Got, got me feeling <clears throat> things I was I didn't think I was gonna feel today. <laughs> Don't know what love is, but that's a very close. That's a very close yeah, depiction of it. Tools, but it, it was nice Anything else you. before we go to first topic? I don't know. Right. Some of these, some of these people, <laughs> some of these people coming to my house. I'm about to score up, and they're about to find a clue real quick. <laughs> we don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, don't know. Stand the dark about it. You don't need to know. Papa says, stay in the dark. All right, let's go on the topics. All right. First off, we have, we have Act the Blizzard messing up again. 
But this time, in, on top of absolutely everything from the first lawsuit, they obtained yet another lawsuit, this time for labor violations. Good thing they did hire me. Jeez. Wait, they actually have someone that's suing because the workers are not getting paid or not getting enough vacation time? Yeah. Wow. What a shock. Hey, like I just said, good thing they didn't hire me, let alone they get me an interview. So, hey, I'm fine. No, I, I, I want it. I would have taken it if I could sue Blizzard. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, hot, uh, hot spot. Yeah. I literally said that, yeah, this is a perfect chance that you can go <laughs> get hired by them and then you can sue. That would have been the legal <laughs> thing. <laughs> Problem for all the money they got. She. Oh, oh, the, oh uh, yeah. Epic. According to Oracle, a better AKB release a list of demands to ask for a month things and into mandatory attribution clauses and all employee contracts current and future. This new suit filed for sete uh, on September 10th accused Zach the Blizzard of engaging in coercive behavior disruptive to, to a Barry BK's attempts to affect change. If the NLRB rules in our favor, the ruling will be retroactive and will set a precedent that no worker in the U.S. can be intimidated out or of talking out, out about forced attribution. A Barry BK spokesperson write on Twitter. Unquote. So yeah, this this is basically them being kicked while they're down, and honestly, they deserve it. Shoot, people will try to kick them down some more with the situation they in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just think about like some of the, some of our audience doesn't know that when you're a coder or a modeler or an artist working for a game company, especially programmers, programmers have to write hundreds to thousands to even millions of lines of code and they don't go home half the time they stay and keep working on their code because people say oh we'll release it by this date never <laughs> expect it to release by the date certain and companies let you go home <clears throat> other companies do not yeah yeah and looking at that code man that shit's stressful and that yeah, especially trying to dismantle spaghetti code. Am I back? Yay. Yay. Hi, uh, I'm back. Yeah, yeah. I, returned from, I returned from the uh, flames of hell. I don't know. Where about was just that? You're not the dark one. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like, <laughs> I felt like I'm, cl I'm clapping. Because this is a rare occasion, Epic has returned from the Shadow Realm. The congratulations, man! Yay! I was, I was going to say Yay. something. <laughs> I was going to say something about that, but I'm like, nah, <coughs> nah. You out protagonist, the protagonist. By the way, I think Yu-Gi-Oh was going to end Yugi being stuck in the Shadow Realm, but then they changed their mind. <laughs> Y'all ever seen Yu-Gi-Oh uh, season zero? Yes. yes. Okay. And that shit's hilarious. Okay. Like, like let's play a game. But uh, act the blizzard. Um, <laughs> yeah, Bo Bobby Kotick, did he get in trouble about apparently he was outed for doing some of those sexual misconduct? I think yeah. so. Shout out to Bobby he's, Kotick. Um, I don't know. He's being, like, he's being fucking sued. Like, do not trust an exec CEO that would rather take the money for themselves and not splitting it. With fucking with his like you know people actually worked on the game, which is still kind of ass backwards if you think about it. Like I, I feel like the people who work on the game should get more money than the people you know producing it. But okay, you know it's whatever. Well, no, whatever. because in a legal standpoint, it's like okay, would you rather get paid hourly or would you rather get paid percentage of the game? Actually, now, I can't. I can't even answer that because there's two companies that do just as that. And yeah. and the developers still get fucking like no matter which end of the stick you get, developers still get screwed over. <laughs> now, if you produce and uh, make it yourself, I'm just saying. I mean, I know like some companies, and I I know I talk bad about Nintendo a lot, but like with like Smash Brothers, like Nintendo and Bandai Namco, 
the people developing the game actually the split between them and the producers and directors wasn't that high. Like Sakurai didn't get paid a crap ton more than the developers of the game. I was literally about to I was literally about to say that. Like not yeah. not if you're Nintendo. So I mean to be fair, they did it right, especially like with one of the biggest games Nintendo's released on the you know Switch. Um, the split was pretty good between them. Like he still got paid more than them, but not a jaw dropping amount more. So. I think that you can pay the producer and director more. It's just the problem with Activision and EA and companies like that is the producer or director gets paid like eight million versus the uh, developers getting maybe a hundred thousand, and that's just unfair. Like, just mm-hmm. it, it's just too much of discrepancy. If it's like they were getting a million and developers getting at least they, they say three hundred thousand, like okay, that's a better sp- split. But like they're getting all these bonuses for essentially to the programmers and developers uh work and they're the ones getting the bonuses for forcing the release it earlier so they get a, a bonus for releasing it early that just kind of hits me wrong because the thing is the producer and directors aren't once usually in some cases they are but usually they're not the ones staying late nights and stuff they go home and then they come back the next day to the developer still there so it's that was a problem with active lizard and stuff yeah Mm-hmm. All right, let me let me say my piece and that'll be it uh, for me. All right, um, because this has been apparent, and not just the video game industry, but in the entertainment industry, like all this sucks. Like I really wish that Blizzard, like all the CEOs, get sued, and they have to. I wouldn't say step down, but they have to restructure the company to where it's more fair for the employees because this has been you know this stuff like this been going on in the uh, not just video game industry but like i said in the entertainment industry for years where people get screwed over people you know get sexually abused and all that stuff and then <clears throat> nobody bats for them anything until it's like too late so i'm glad that i'm, I'm glad to hear that they're doing something about them instead of letting them get off the hook with that shit but you know still, something I would, that would help this uh, yeah. DC to try to cut you off? You know something that would help this? What? If there were unions in the entertainment industry. Yeah, that too. And also in the music industry, because both of them are cutthroat for some fucking reason. Yeah. Also, Blizzard... I like Blizzard's a lot of their games. Like, I played Overwatch. <laughs> I love Hearthstone. And, occur- of course, World of Warcraft. But, he- here's the... I've already said this once before, I believe, on the podcast. (laughs) Blizzard, you need to hire fresh people. Stop trying to hire experienced people. Hire fresh people. One, because you got plenty of students that are coming out of colleges, like, every year. But you still try to hire... You could hire three or four newbies, have trained them, instead of hiring one guy that's an expert at it. But yeah. uh, what they do is they hire, is the young people they hire are like what they call script kiddies, where they hire you to do the work no one else wants to do, mm-hmm. and very and they pay you really little for it. And mm-hmm. then they say, okay, uh, if you quit, we got a hundred other people like you, and that's what they hired the younger people for. Yeah, they have to work up. Then Probably. again, they have to oh, yeah. watch who they hire as well, because. So- because Woke Reek does not happen to be a top-down disaster. It's a bottom-up disaster, meaning it spreads from the it spreads from the smaller employers to the big guys. And unfortunately, th- unfortunately, it's too late for Blizzard's case. But for a- for any others that it's not too late for, they really have to watch who they hire. Uh, in I case mean, I'll, of I'll anything, in, anything that nasty as this. Yeah, all the think- higher people who do games, like the CEOs, if you notice, most CEOs, like, for example, Bobby, Bobby Kotick, I, th- Kotick, I think, was with Pepsi or something like that at one point, and then came to Activision. It's just they, they hire people at, like, at these higher positions, like CEO and board member and stuff, that don't know anything about games. They hire them from, like, let's say, companies like Pepsi, companies like um, Coke, uh, companies like, you know, Kellogg's at one point. Like it's just weird. It's like I, that was that's a cereal brand. Like I just I don't understand where you get that from. Like oh he's a CEO there. Yeah, for a cereal company. I don't think that translates to gaming. 
right, let me say this and let me let me also say this real quick. Gaming companies, please hire new people fresh out of the college, or at least intern intern them fresh out of the college. It's been too much. It, it's been too much on. I mean, hearing horror stories. I just with y'all that. People go to a school that does computer science or game development. They come out and they try to get into the industry and they get turned down no matter how much. I wouldn't say no matter. I wouldn't say no matter how much experience. I would say more like if they didn't have five years of experience. But how can you get experience if nobody wants to hire you? Then we stuck in that loop. So please stop. Please hire new people. They're there for a reason. They will help your business grow. So being a so being a tight ass. That's it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, but yeah, I mean, this, this, these problems, like I said, with the entertainment industry and with Activision Blizzard, uh, we're gonna keep hearing more in this saga. But once again, nothing's gonna happen. At least I don't believe anything's gonna happen yeah. out of this lawsuits. What's gonna happen is Active Blizzard is gonna settle out of court with this lawsuit. Mark my words. Go ahead, mark my words. It's like it's not gonna be. They're they're gonna settle out of court for an undisclosed amount of money, and. That's gonna be it with this California lawsuit, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and two thing- unless they uh, really go uh, unless they really go belly up due to this, the people are <laughs> yeah, those consumers of theirs, they're still gonna consume in the end. Yeah, I mean right, call it the quality of Vanguard. Of- oh, those pre orders are still nice. The game is nice uh, sold really well. Like everything is I mean and Vanguard looks trash, honestly. And it's still doing good, you know, World of Warcraft. It dipped out player base for like a month. Then now it's back pretty high at the highest it's been for a while. It is people are still going to play their games. I was I was going to say this. Just like two, like there's like two versus stories to this. There's like one version where they get you know they get sued, and Blizzard's just going to pay out money for them, and then they're going to. Here's, I'm thinking because what if Activision let go of that studio, which I hardly see that happening because they make. Like they make way too much money, so either they settle and they Blizzard have to pay money, or Blizzard gets away with it. That's those two things I see out of the story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, the problem is Activision owns so much that some people don't even know what they own. Like for example, someone was talking crap about someone at my job actually, uh, like a customer was talking about crap about Activision, talking about how they want to support them. Guess what game they're playing? They're playing Candy Crush. That's made by King. Guess who owns King? Activision. Wow. Because Activision is King. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So, yeah. They bought King a few years back. So it's like, oh, you're supporting him right there by playing Candy Crush. I said, you don't even know all the stuff they own because that's how much they own. Also, it's kind of it's kind of sad because they're going to um, yeah, they're going to um. Do they, uh, I'm thinking, I'm sorry, I'm thinking right now. I'm having a brain fart. Um, go ahead. I lost the topic. <laughs> go ahead. I lost it. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it's going to be an undisclosed amount. They're going to sell it off court. Because all these companies do. Like, I remember there was this big lawsuit coming for EA. And everybody, oh, it's going to be end of EA. And then there was an undisclosed amount settled out of court. And that was the last we heard of it. I mean, it's just, this stuff keeps happening. Because these companies have a lot of money. And I mean a lot of money. Yeah. The thing is, the, the people su- like um, the organization suing them don't. If they actually cared about the people, it work better. But they actually just care about uh, logistics and you know image. So they, they just oh we're we're gonna speak up. But then once you put up enough money out, you're like oh money, they just go for it. If you get people I, who really have morals, it works better. But eh. I found out what I was thinking about. Diablo 2 Resurrection. People are still going to buy that even with all this going on. Oh, because yeah. They were just Because they was like, oh, we're supporting the developers. I'm like, yeah, but you also... Because that's the tricky thing. We want to support the developers, but we don't want to, you know, do their practices or anything like that. But, it's yeah. like, in, you know, in order to um, support the developers, you're going to have to support their practice right now. So that's why a lot of people say it's a tricky topic. It is. That and also like, you're supporting their censorship right too. Yeah. They did they did nerf that one character and the report I don't I haven't heard the reports yet, but from rumors alone it got a lot worse. 
but I can't confirm until I see anything. But yeah, like I said, I'm getting Diablo 2 Resurrection, you know, I mean, and you know, like I said, because you want to do, you still want to support the developers, because for the most part, they didn't do anything wrong. It's the higher ups, but at the same time, supporting developers does mean supporting the higher ups, because the whole, once again, the discrepancy and pay and everything. So it's it's a very tricky topic, and like I said, what's going to happen is they're going to, they're going to set out of court with this, because Activision Blizzard has so much money, like so much money. God, disgusting now. Oh, uh, so it's it's gonna. And don't worry about Activision because it's Activ- like even though Activision Blizzard they act like like they let them be their own thing and Activision's a separate part. If Activision really wanted to let them go, they would have let them go by now. No, that like Activision is acting like this isn't a thing. Yeah, yeah, and that's because like the Blizzard is making them so much money right now, you know. If Blizzard ever stops making the money, they're, they're going to drop Blizzard, like, just like that. I mean, yeah. but right now, Blizzard's making them a lot of money, so they're going to keep them on. Yeah. Nicole San Diego? If they don't do better, they're going to end up having more lawsuits in the future. Oh, yeah. Because, see, the thing is, like DC said... They don't want to hire new. They don't want to hire new people like uh, college grads or do internships. So if they don't want to do internships, then they're gonna be screwed. Cause the more people that they hire that are experts, they're gonna end up just in the same loop that they're in right now. Pretty yeah. much, their their problem right now, or at least a problem they have, is. Instead of having an army of people to sort through code, they're hiring one person for the value of four people. Now, if they were to hire these four people to value the code and actually read through lines of code and be like, oh, there's an error there, there's an error here, there's, let me make a note of what this function does. If they were to take their time, hire four Decent college students or even new wanting to be hired people that know what they're doing, then they're getting four great hires at the price of one expert or one master. So it's it's them being it's them being cheap, and then two it's them not wanting to put new people on because they can because tr- they don't trust the new people they trust the old people. And if you do want to get higher on, your portfolio better be better be like a fucking banger. And that's it. <laughs> also, uh, Nicole San Diego, check your messages. I sent you some. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, yeah. The, 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 that's <laughs> all I'm going to say about this uh, active blizzard thing. Like I said, you know, everyone is acting like they care right now, but a lot of people are still going to support them. A lot of people at the end of the day, uh, once this lawsuit gets settled out of court, <laughs> they're going to stop talking about it because. People don't really stand on their morals, a lot of them, anymore, so it is what it is. Yeah. And uh, about the hiring parts, they're already screwing up there. Personally, they're already screwing up there as well due to the next topic. Of course. I got nothing but apathy for Activision right now. Like, I, I feel nothing. You know? <laughs> I feel something. Hired a- Ooh, I they, hired, they hired a former Disney executive, their new HR boss, and yeah, that that's not gonna. Ha- that's not gonna go anywhere good. Disney already is a whole other story that I'm not going into right now. But uh, there's a reason why pretty much everyone from Disney Channel, all the kids, <laughs> lost their mind. That's all I'm saying about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In that iCarly reboot, and everybody was asking why did Jeanette McCurdy didn't come on. She literally said the whole workplace that she was in was terrible. It was mm-hmm. awful, and she does <clears throat> not want to expose herself to that workplace ever again. I know. Also, a lot of them came out with fucking. A lot of them kids came out with fucking drug addiction and drug and addict addiction, shit like that. From not just from Disney, but also for Nick too. So the kids thing in their HR departments were terrible. Mm. Yeah. They either got into drugs, hoed out, became istathals, or something else. That's the common stuff I keep hearing of. Yeah. But those that used to be at Disney. Yeah, look, look at Bella Thorne. Look what happened with her. Oh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> what were you trying right. to say, Brittany? Yeah. Who's Brittany? Nicole. Nicole San Diego, go. Nicole San Diego. 
What I was trying to say, too, that one of the big reasons why she also left, too, was because of Dan Schneider and the shit he was doing. Oh, yeah. That's also a whole nother story for a different time. Uh, and he a, he a pedophile? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, alleged. Alleged. Allegedly. Allegedly. We got that part. part. Because I ain't trying to have his lawyers come for me. Because he still has a lot of money. His lawyer's going to be better than mine. Um, <laughs> With a hard <laughs> foot fetish, too, of course. Yeah. Yeah. That's anyway. why he saw it one Nickelodeon sign. Yeah. I, I, I just find it funny that, that like, shows like Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon and Disney all have these like, yay, we're for children, but most of their actors within a few years are like Demi Lovato. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they had they had her lose her mind and they did nothing for her. Yep. I'm glad she's better now, but man, they just had her lose her mind. They're like, <laughs> oh, we don't care. <laughs> yep. Well, it's not more. Uh, Demi Lovato, Jake, uh, Jake, and Logan Paul. I don't care what y'all say. I think they lost their mind. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because when they were on Vine, they were fine. Like, I mean, I, I didn't watch them, but like they, they were chilled. And then well, they did Disney, and then went YouTube and just went crazy. I'm like, what happened? I think one of them. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's Logan Paul. Uh, or is it Jake? I don't know. Anyways, one of the them Paul was only on. One of them was only, like, a extra in, like, I think Hannah Montana or something. And that was his only role on Disney was, that was it. Like, he didn't have any ties to Disney besides that one episode. Oh. Oh, and Miley Cyrus. Yeah, she lost her damn mind. She wholesale lost her mind. Oh, yeah. She she cut half her hair off. It was crazy. What? Uh, what what was uh, the co-star or the best friend of Miley Cyrus? Oh, she I lost mine too. Yeah, uh, I do not remember. Cut her she didn't whole lose ha- her mind. She just M- went M- to M- for Netflix. Yeah, cut her whole hair off. Yeah. Was oh, twerking everywhere. Know, was twerking everywhere bit. while she was ill-equipped. Yo, she had nothing to twerk with. That was that was the biggest sin Miley Cyrus ever did. I was like, what, what, what you trying to twerk? That was crazy. Yeah, the, yeah. In the biggest sin. <laughs> the biggest so sin. From She's this ill-equipped. Whole world. <laughs> hang on, hang on. The biggest sin for this whole world did is saying Miley Cyrus was the hottest thing since Britney. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all smoking? <laughs> and, bro, I don't, yeah, I had to pause. They said, Miley Cyrus, the hottest thing since Britney. I, I don't, I, I'm lost that Probably word. Probably as know. far as no. music. No, they I said, still look. go that far. Uh, no, they said the same thing uh, with Harry Duff, though. I was like, yo, y'all lying. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You got lying to me in my face. That's a sin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of lying, here's the quote. A workforce where everyone feels valued is critical to the success of business and says it's trusting, engaging, and safe environment that encourages creativity and innovation in which all employees can thrive, Hodges said. It takes a collective effort to do this, and I'm looking forward to ensuring that we support the diversity of our talent to bring people together and continue creating <laughs> amazing entertainment. Unquote. Uh, How do you say that with a straight face? Stop saying it and do it. It's easier to do than to say. Yeah. I don't understand how this shit. I don't understand this shit. Bro, I, I guess it, the PR people be t- they, they they be working overtime. I give them that. They be working overtime, but at the end of the day, I do not care what the company has you saying. The company's not gonna do it. Yeah. The company hired HR from Disney that that was uh part of with Disney because of a lot of accusations. And they hired that person. Hey, you'll be our new HR. Like, come on. They hired a union yeah. busting group. They hired a union <laughs> buster for your HR. Like, are you not seeing the problem here? You, <laughs> of course, their PR is working overtime. How much fucking scum this? How yeah. fucking bad shit this business is acting? Like, you literally <laughs> hired someone who had a lot of controversy on them anyway. Yeah, your you're just. HR. You're just going from uh, one pair of douche nozzles to a, co- a whole different pair of douche nozzles. And you're going to get the same problem. It's a separate turd sandwich. It's crazy. I, I don't understand how they keep doing that. And they're like, listen, we believe it should be a safe environment. No one believes it's a safe environment under this person. That's why Disney parted ways because 
this particular individual was getting them bad responses. And Disney was like, OK, well, we'll just get rid of them and make it seem like we care. And then you're then actors like, hey, uh, so you're free now. Come on with us. <laughs> like it, it makes no sense. <laughs> hot side, what do you think about this? I think it's a hot mess. I think that if you get requested to leave from one business for quote unquote, we're going to say alleg- allegations. Okay. We're yeah. going to say that. Let's say that all of this is not true. Let's say it's a conspiracy against this one person. Now, if this same conspiracy happens at this new place, there's going to be some serious, serious problems. And honestly, I'm flabbergasted at how this is being handled. Put it that way. Yeah, he got a job. Okay. Oh, you're doing the same thing for yeah. a different company? But if he had hard evidence that he did not do any of these things, depending but on the see, person... can be easily constructed. Hmm? If I paid someone $20,000 to say I was at their house playing video games with them, and I went and murdered someone, that's my evidence. He's my witness. I was playing video games with him. Yeah, and uh, and I I do not in order to nice advocate for the whole oh this person shouldn't have a job, but I mean you gotta look this person was with Disney in the HR with Disney, you know they have money in the bank, so it's not like once they had to part ways with Disney, you know plus they're still getting pension from Disney because they weren't fired, they were just requested to leave, so they they're still getting pension. Let's it's also not- say this this is this is Disney HR. Pretty much Disney super lawyers. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, so it's like this this dude had money leaving Disney. So coming to Activision wasn't something they needed to do. It was just they were hired on. And like I said, you don't you don't want to hire on someone who is who has a bunch of allegations and seems problematic right away. Like you want to you know give it time, but this was pretty fresh. Like they had pretty freshly left uh, you know ha- uh been requested that's the word to use uh to leave disney and you're like hey we're high you're on right here yo we're here for everyone we want to be a safe work environment but no one found a safe work environment under this disney exec <laughs> yeah it's the fact that like even it's the fact that we we just want the devs to make money make livable wages and they can go home to their families I don't know why is it so hard for them to even have that is a problem. And also the fact that let's just say if even the CEOs get fired, let's just say, yeah, let's just say if we do get the CEOs fired, they're going to get a severance package. So up to millions and millions of billions of dollars that they're going to be straight. And then they're just going to go to another company. Like there is like, even if we get them fired, there is no win per se, but I feel like either they need new management to they need new management period <laughs> or like somebody needs to come in and be like all right we're gonna shut this shit down or change the shit something yeah and that's provide if they actually went with a full investigation or not or they just straight up had them fired after after upon hearing the allegations alone no the problem is these the problem is these companies do these internal investigations where like we did an internal investigation and we found no wrongdoings. Like, wait, you investigate yourselves and found no wrongdoing. There's, there's just something that sounds off about that. Well, like at, at the same time, yeah. you have to have someone that's trusted there to. Do like, that. you want an in-house, but you also have a you know out outhouse. No, not the you know peeing outhouse, but like <laughs> you should you you should have both. You know, working simultaneously. I agree with that. Because if it's just like, for example, yeah. if, you know, you and I are friends, right, Hot Sock? So mm-hmm. if, if let's say we had a company that was a multi-billion dollar company and you had 38 allegations or I had 38 allegations against me and, you know, we'll do the right thing. But let's say we didn't. That's you could essentially the say the allegations would be against me, not you. But go ahead. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> I could essentially be like, well, you know what? 
I don't want to put hot sauce away. Like I don't even care if they're real or not. So I'm gonna get someone. Let's say I get DC. He's gonna be my private investigator, and let's say he's friends with us. And he's like, I found a wrongdoing. It's like, can we really trust that? Three really good friends who've been friends, like let's say you know, twelve years plus years or whatever. Right? Mm-hmm. Can we really trust? This to do an investigation, we have to have at least one other, you know, non biased. We, we have yeah. to have a non biased. That's that's all it boils down to. Yeah. Or that's how it should. There should be an outside investigation, like you said, and an inside investigation. Exactly, because it's just when it's like, yeah, we investigated and we found a wrongdoing. You investigate yourselves and found a wrongdoing for yourselves. I, it, the, it just doesn't yeah, sound right. That, hang on, hang on. And they it's do the exact that, same when they they decide to kick them out. Hang on, hang on. It's the fact that they're breaking the law and they get still getting and they, some companies are still getting away with this shit is what makes me a little mad. Yeah, because they get away with it because they do investigations. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or lack thereof. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh man. It's it's the it's like if the government kind of cracked down on more businesses and governments. I wouldn't think we will have much of this, to be honest. But it's the fact that since they're being lobbied about businesses and all that shit, this will continue to be a problem. Yeah, I agree. I, I kind of wish that I wish there was a way to handle governmental issues that didn't involve politics. You know? Yeah. Yeah. At, at that at that point. It, it's all about, okay, this government, this business pays so much money per year for whatever. It, like, taxes, oh, they pay all this money. Or, oh, they don't pay nothing. They To me, it, it's kind of like, I really wish that they could settle up... Uh, Settle a way where if we could find a way that we build a system that's non-corruptible, I think we'd be or, in a good position. Or without any hard biases. That too. But if there was no way to corrupt the person that judges everyone, I, I think it would be much <laughs> it'd be much better system. If you just have a system that be like, no matter how much you bribe, everybody has to go through the exact same system, even businesses and CEOs and shit like that will be held accountable to the nth degree. That would be great. But the problem is we're probably not going to get that because of lobbying. And that is the and that is the issue with our country. But I'm not going to get into that because I'm not going to get into politics because we're just going to keep yeah. this game. Yeah, yeah, lobbying and once again, hard biases. At this, po- at this point, th- we have we we need a hard reset in order for this to happen. But that's a while. That's a while. Uh, no, no. Really. Even though a hard reset would not help, it's it will take a lot more than a hard reset just to fix everything. I don't believe a hard reset okay. is that far away from us, honestly. The way the way politics have been handled in the last, like let's say, last few years, I honestly believe that we will... I honestly believe that it's just going to be a big... Uh, what What's the word I'm looking for? I, I believe that there's going to be a... I, I believe there's going to be a time soon where it's like, everyone... Yeah, you're. We're done. <laughs> I believe that Bless you. people. From, Bless you. Plus, I believe people from like the east or the west, whichever way you want to look at it on the world, are going to invade. And when they invade, we're going to be. Even though America is fronted as one of the top powers in the world, if not the top power in the world. We're not the top. We're just one of the top. Yeah, yeah we're one of the top. 
I don't okay. think that I don't think that we're gonna invade anybody. I think that this country is gonna eat itself to part, like eat itself. You mean to death. Greece yeah. is gonna succumb over everyone, and we all just yeah. yeah. I can see. We no, we either say, get invaded or right. sorry, we either invade no, or we're going or we're going to eat ourselves. Yeah. And what I mean by eat ourselves, I don't literally mean like green or anything, but just green or anything like that. I think because how our system and how our parties is acting like, because y'all remember the insurrection about Donald Trump and how people want to change and all that shit, and people people are are going like getting really desperate over it. I think that we're going to start something like that because of the fact that people want to change because the system we have now is not helping our society or well, helping American society. And unfortunately, it's going to be the idiots that's going to try to change the world. But let's get back on the video game topic. Um, Nicole San Diego, you got anything on this? Or are you good? Nah, I'm good. All right. All right then let's get into the next yeah, topic. Yeah, Epic back by any chance. He's not, but let's just go in and ahead and get to the next topic. We'll oh, all right. We just back in. Onward to the next topic. We happen to ha- now we got someone else getting their own. Now we got someone else getting their own Actabliss moment. Right after Ooh. Ubisoft got its own Actabliss moment. Yay! Yeah. The IDGA Women in Gaming Chair ended up resigning her own seat after hard allegations of abusive behavior. So, halfway through this year, there there are apparently over ten pe there are apparently over ten people that heart reported that heart reported Jennifer Shul for for a, for heart allegations of abuse and harassment, barring anything sexual, according to them. But after, oh. but after oh. everything, the person at hand decided to end up resigning. Bo- end up resigning before anything else came further to light. Yeah, she decided to strip quit and will re- uh, and will refrain from any advocacy work from that point forward. No idea on whether. No idea on whether it ever, on whether someone else will take over or not as of the article. Eh. What did she do again? Not not the charges, but like what was her position at what company? <laughs> she was the head gaming chair. She was the head chair of IGGA Women in Gaming, which. And from there, she ended up. She ended up. What was described is clarified that grooming was the best word for that that they had for coercion and manipulation, as opposed well, to yeah, anything sexual, according to article. CEO. That's funny because the CEO, in my opinion, is all about doing cor- uh, corruption and making deals. They're pretty much the lawyers, but have. No one to really talk down. Uh, no one to really talk above them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you're a CEO of your own company, hold on for. Uh, then you really don't have to take any shit from anybody except following the guidelines of the government. Yeah, and like there's you can normally be like I'm showing up at this time. Yeah, and there's normally heart biases in play unless unless the situation is either way too big or there's far too many accusers against their neck. This time, this time, however, there are a lot of accusers, but she ended up growing a conscience and resigned herself as opposed to immediately getting getting kicked out and her life destroyed. Sorry about that. My headset was knocked off. Uh, that's all right. Was all this anyway. uh, proven? Like, oh, no. like was yeah. she abusive? Yeah. yeah, was she abusive? Yes, she was. I think she go fuck herself. <laughs> I, I think she. Head. There is. I don't want to the... stereotype, but 
like when you think about it, you know what? I'm not going to say that because I think I will offend somebody, and that's not what I want to do. So welcome mm. to America. Just don't get on Twitter. Yes. They can't cancel if you're not on Twitter. I <laughs> never will ever create a Twitter account. If I even start a, my own business and someone says, "Oh, you should make a Twitter," I will fire them in an instant. Uh, yeah, no, no, that's be- no, 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 no. You can. That's have actually the best of No, no, no. I, I will instantly fire anyone that brings up Twitter in my presence. Let me just say it like this: You can have a Twitter. <laughs> You could have a Twitter. Just don't say shit on the Twitter. Do like me. I don't say anything on my Twitter. I just look at all the. Re- I just look at all the people on Twitter. <laughs> I look at. No, the- but think about how how much Twitter has impacted a lot of people, though. Like Twitter, social media in general has impacted so much of the world in today's standards. But just think about. I want you to think about for one minute how Twitter is. Back when it was at the peak of its popularity, where oh you're not you're not following this famous person or this famous Twitter person, oh I'm not going to be your friend in real life. Like what the fudge are you talking about? Like I don't have Twitter. I don't care about Twitter. Twitter starts too much shit. It's like that one friend you have that comes to your your other friend and starts shit. Yeah. Or start throwing shade at everyone. I have never had that before. All I can say is this. You look you look at the animals through the cages. You don't get in it. <laughs> you don't get in. Yeah. The so second you sign that's on why to man- Twitter, you get in it. Yeah, no, that's why many people, especially many businesses, don't use Twitter at all. Let me just say it like this. <laughs> like, just because you sign up for Twitter and you're looking at them, you're not in it. Once you start talking to them, then you're in it. You're still yeah, but if, yeah. I, I'm saying as a business, if I want to just do a business, okay, and my business has to have a Twitter, obviously I'm going to have to pr- pronounce uh, some of the stuff I want to show on my Twitter. Like, I'm making a new video game. So let's go ahead yeah. and get that ball rolling. And there was... Hey, you're not seeing in. You're not seeing right now. The audience can't see, but what we're seeing right now is a, a, a bunch of the claims, a, a bunch of claims of her harassment, and she even weaponized her own her own victimhood of of something completely off topic onto the onto her employers. Let me just say it like this: If she did it, fuck her. If she didn't do it, then um, <sighs> that's awkward. <laughs> still fuck her. No, yeah, still fuck her. Fuck <laughs> <the hell. laughs> No, it's more like if she did it, she needs. There's definitely consequences that she has to suffer through because she did it. Yeah. But if she, if this is all allegations, which it sounds like it's not allegations, it's just straight up someone. She's just an asshole. Or maybe she was just too stressed. Whatever. Maybe she needs to go see a psychiatrist. In, in no form or fashion is abuse okay in any in, in uh hot sorry you I'm okay gonna say, I'm gonna say it like this um I agree, if it's an allegation wait and see but this doesn't sound like an allegation it sounds like she did it so she go fuck herself yeah yeah she can just yeah. Straight up, be like, "Yeah, I was in the wrong," and yeah, admit she, that she was in the wrong. Yeah, she was. At, she actually resigned herself. She didn't get, get yeah. booted off or anything. She she resigned herself. Well, if she resigned, uh, I don't know. No, no, because no, no, no. I understand what you're saying. Like, like. You, are you trying to tell yourself that does she deserves a second chance? Because no, no, no. If people can change, uh, if she could do it. Then she can change, it. but that's not the that's not my bottom line. My bottom line is, I believe justice is a thing that should happen, whether it's whether it happens in this time frame 
I, I'm religious, so even if it doesn't happen on the world, I believe it will happen in spirit after the world. Uh, I see what you're saying. You say I see here. The, um, I see. I see I, what you say. She should get punished for what she did and punished accordingly. Like there should be some form of justice yeah. served for the people that she harmed, abused, caused damage to. All right, no, now, no. it's not. I'm not saying they should get a million dollars worth of goods because psychological damage. Really, all that boils down to is how the person feels. And some people, money won't fix the problem. So, it will not. No, it won't. And by so, the way, just to get this out the way, I, yeah. she, she, if she, like I said, she did it, go fuck herself. Because I'm not aggrieved that, I agree that if she can change, then she should strive to be, come, try to become a better person. At the exact same time, she should atone. Yeah, atone for what she have done. Like mm-hmm. you should get punished for what you got done, and after that, then try to become a better person from there forth. But that that doesn't excuse you for what you did. So you should get punished for what you did. Not punished forever, but at the exact same time, still get punished for what you have done. At least go to a court, or yeah. not even a court, but. At least get something between you and the victims that you've done wrong to. Get oh, something. In- oh, I'm sorry, cut you off. Go ahead. No, that was it. Just and, get something. In- and that's provided they actually want to redeem themselves. Uh, what she? What did she do? Because I kind of zoned out. <laughs> she was the CEO of a. Uh, it, what was it? W- Women's Game Association? Yeah, she was the IDGA Women in Gaming Chair, and she harassed a bunch of her a bunch of her employers until they basically had enough. Abused and harassed them. And there are a world of claims against her, too. And all My her question boys, is, how do you know you're abused? If, is all her employees, like, all female or all males? I mean, females or it males didn't say. or... It didn't right, say, so but it didn't say, but stuff like this is hard to assume to be majority female. Okay. Because believe it, because I'm not the only reason I'm saying in particular is because it might be under, it might be like an agenda under him, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm just trying to get down. Well, yeah, and that's why I've been saying about hard biases. If you're going, let me ask you this, okay? If you're in a game develop position, like let's say you're a programmer, someone that has to stay extra hours past uh, when the main office closed, and you're still coding, and you don't even get to go home to shower, you have to stay there and keep coding, and you work till the next day. And so, at what point is that? Breaching the contract, breaching the right stuff. Because, like, there should be some labor laws, like Epic said earlier, about uh, game industry. Because it's not right to keep someone excess amount of hours and then, uh, it's, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but uh, I can, can piggyback back off that real quick, uh, if you let me. Okay. 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 So basically, what these companies do is they try to force people to salary pay, and if in certain industries salary pay is good, in certain industries you won't do hourly. But basically, salary pay is you get you're guaranteed this amount of money. Period. So yeah, you can work less, still get that money. Work more, you still get money. Uh, so what they do is they give you these contracts that say um, might uh, might require mandatory overtime. What does mandatory mean? It means you have to do it. Overtime is anywhere from uh, uh, 30 minutes over your time to 12, Four, 12 hours. hours over your time. Um, so the what they do is when you sign that it absolves them for the most part of a lot of um, 
<laughs> that um, they have your overtime and they can know. Mm -hmm. So you say instead of you working 40 hours a week, you're working uh, 80 hours a week. Some like some kind of push like that. Yeah. And they, they can do that because you technically agreed to mandatory overtime. Um, and they can do that just because it it works better for them because your salary pays, so they're only paying you as if you work 40 hours and not that you work 80. That's why they try to get like that, once again. That's why they try to get a lot of people uh, on salary pay, and you don't really see them having they contract out. You usually don't see the contractors doing overtime because they had to pay them for the overtime. Yep. So that that's what these companies do now. So if we had unions within the game industry, which they're starting to form, which is good because we need them. Uh, I do mm -hmm. not care what David Jaffe says. That's one thing I I disagree with him fervently on. Is we need unions. He said we don't need unions in the game industry. I'm like, you used to be exec, so you're probably not thinking that. But we, we need them. I'm sorry, David Jaffe. Still, still have your comment. But we, we need them. No, 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 no. I think he was smoking something when he said that shit. <laughs> 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 well, well I, I would bring up the point if, to him, in my opinion, my point would be if the world didn't have unions or if America didn't have unions, like the that one's closed. And, sorry. If America and them didn't have unions, then a lot of the workers, like construction workers and stuff, if they get before, I want to say even 2000, before a union was actually formed for the construction workers, if they got hurt on the job, they just, they wouldn't show up. They wouldn't get paid for uh, getting hurt on the job. It would be up to the boss of that construction company to decide what they would want to do with that worker. And in some cases, they would immediately fire the worker because they couldn't work. Like, okay, you're done. Just go. Here's the money you've worked for. Now go. You're done. Clock out. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, clock out. It and it could be something as simple as having... Like, literally, a nail go through your boot and stick you. Yes. Nicole, you got anything? I got I, I was going to say that I can't admit that, like, with big companies that are, like, Fortune 500 or whatever, they, just, they pretty much want to be at cheap assholes and not want to, like, let their employees actually go on leave if they have been injured on the job. But the thing is, though, they don't. They also don't want to end up facing a lawsuit if they end up pulling some shit like that to their employees, and not want them to go on leave if they're injured on a in the workplace anyway. So they much rather just pay you and fire you, opposed to let you to go on leave to where you actually can actually rest up. So you can come back to work and actually finish the job and work on the next project that you guys got. Let's see. They just want to be some crazy assholes. So. See, this is why if I ever start a business, the way I'm going to pay my people is I'm going to do an hourly rate and a uh, portion of money as they complete jobs. Uh, Nicole, what about the topic at hand? Is this related to the topic at hand? Yeah, it was. Oh, but, yeah. But the topic at hand was pretty much, yes or no, should this woman be punished for pretty much got abused? Her, she was abusing her co-workers. And she Hell was yeah, she should, man. Yes. If, if this was a dude, then, if this then, was a there dude there'd be no question. If this was a dude, there'd be no question. No, but apparently we have, But apparently we have to, oh, wait, let's think about this when the woman's the abuser. That's why there's the extreme problem with the heart biases I keep talking about. Fem the feminists out there, they need to... Adina Sarkeesian, Zoe Quinn, I need y'all to jump on this and say this woman needs to be held accountable because when a man does it, oh, he's held accountable. Y'all need to sit there saying equal rights for men and women right here. Equal rights under the law. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. 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 But yeah, apparently... Apparently, she had to grow a conscience herself and quit. Nor un if it 
She yeah, if things were actually worth one, then she'd instantly be tossed for this. But she didn't grow cartoons. It's kind of like the guy from Disney. He's left and still getting benefits from Disney because she retired. She's still getting benefits from her position. Yeah, she still gets a pension and everything. Yeah, she gets everything. Yeah, she, like how can she grow? Investigation <laughs> and then. Uh, if the board investigates that she did all these allegations, that she should be fired and lose her chances at uh, the pension. Or she can claim only what she put into it, but she can't claim for health insurance anymore. She can't claim for any of the other retirement plan options besides what money she put into her as she was going through her work experience. Yeah, I was um, going to say you, that um, she she pretty much got caught. She was going to get caught anyways. Mm-hmm. So she would just, <laughs> she was like, all right, instead of going through this whole bullshit, I resigned. That's what I was going to yeah. say. Yeah, she honestly deserved to be the tossed as if a guy probably, would. The, the company probably uh, was doing an investigation and the people who know her told her about this happening. They said, you'd be better off just resigning that way you keep everything and that's what she did. I um, mean, yep. and that's the thing. I like people to grow, but I don't think she would grow for this because she faced no consequences. She's still gonna get paid. She's like getting CEO, all her benefits. She's getting at the end of the day. What happened was she lost a job that, which means she doesn't have to wake up and go into work and do whatever she did. She's still getting whatever portion of money she got from uh, storing it up because that's the way I understand 401ks is it's like you store a little bit of your check every time. And at, after a certain amount of years working at a place, you get, you get that money back or I don't know. No, I see it. I see it more like, all right, she lost her job. Now, count how many days until she's a CEO or she starts working at another company, low key. Like she won't, like they won't put her name on it, but she'll probably find another job within another company, like being low key about it. Yeah. Than anything else. On the side note, her name is out there, and that's gonna hold the that's gonna hold the account when background checks happen. Yeah. So bit, that may end up bit, being the only accountability she has here. That doesn't even matter, though. Like, her name's got to be there, and all they're going to do is just put her on something else and just have her have a pseudonym. Like, I mean, they did have a John Chris Belushi, if anyone knows who that is. You know, Craig Ren and Stimpy. All the stuff he did. He was still working for companies under pseudonyms, and then when they found out some of those pseudonyms, that's when companies parted away saying they did not know that was him. Like, yes, you did. You also have to look at it like this. See? He literally talked about a guy that went from Disney to, I believe it was Activision. Yeah, we just talked about yeah. that topic. You know, he, he literally was in a HR position at Disney. He uh, had high allegations on him there. <laughs> Somehow, he immediately got a job. Immediately got a job. So. Um, I think okay. we have an ethical problem in the world today, but go ahead, uh, San Diego. All I'm going to say is I don't give a flying fuck who you are, man, woman, uh, freaking alien. I don't give a fuck if you a goddamn crocodile. You going to end up getting what you deserve, and you're going to have to get held responsible for the bullshit you doing to other people. Well said. Like I said, I mean, I don't care if you man or woman. Mm-hmm. I don't care what you will have between your legs. I don't. I, I'm not coming for that. Yeah, same. You, at the end of the day, need to be held accountable. The thing is, if this was a man, you see, see all these people jump out. I have not seen Zoe Quinn. I've not seen New York Sarkeesian. I've not seen any of them tweet or talk about this. And they won't because they don't care because it's a woman. I mean, it's like, come on now. It's like people are like, oh, love and understanding now. I'm like, what? What's this kumbaya stuff? No, you, you, you messed up. You pay, you pay your dues. Yeah, come on. Shit, doesn't matter what. Doesn't matter what's in between your legs. If you're doing crap like this, 
you should honestly be tossed instead of instead of being put kid gloves. Ah oh, man, it, they they're sitting there holding hands saying "Kumbaya." Ugh. That's crazy. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, kumbaya stop with the uh... <laughs> kumbaya, my, kumbaya, my nuts. How about that? <laughs> Like, pretty much, yeah, stop it with the whole double standard bullshit, where if you're going to put, make so, you know, if you want to claim equal rights to all, then, yeah, hold them accountable to it, which, nine times out of ten, I don't know if they will, you're going to have to wait and see if they're going to make their move, but their action right now, they're saying, they're, they're saying right now, their action, they're not doing, they're not doing that. It could change. Yeah. Hopefully it does. Right now, they're not saying a single thing. Which is yeah, I don't, I don't like these double standards. Like I said, we're, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna hold hands in kumbaya for this. I'm just no. You, you did wrong. Just like anyone, you need to be held accountable. I don't care who you are. Like yeah. that's just that's just some BS right there. Yeah, like, come same. On. It's messed up. Yeah, and it's gonna take a whole lot in order to fit any of that, and that's the messed up part. It's, that's I, all I, I say I just, about that. I just don't understand that if you do wrong, you should get punished for doing wrong. <laughs> Not if you do wrong, unless you're rich, <laughs> you can get away. I don't. I don't see that. I don't know why people let that slide. Just don't. That's why I'm mean, with heart green. biases. Yeah, the world sees green. That's it. That's the only color it sees. There's no black and blue. It's this only is, green. This is exactly why I meant by heart biases. Hey uh, girl, let me get between the green, if you know what I mean. Money, but uh, yeah, let's that, move on to the next topic. This topic kind of made me mad. I'm not, I'm not gonna front. This topic kind of had me heated. Uh, <laughs> like, same. What? Should she face consequences? Yeah, like what? Yeah, same. And we're not I even on d- that part yet. I'm just dumbing it down. I'm like, I, we was going left there, right? I was just making sure we're heading back to our bases, yeah, make sure they know what the topic yeah. was talking about. Yeah, let's move it. Oh, little big me- planet servers permanently shut down. Okay, I don't give a crap about little big planet, but that's sad for people who are still using it. Uh, yeah, I have two of you. The servers for little big planets one, two, three, and the PS Vita game are all permanently shut down. Most likely, yeah, I think this is most likely to either space constraints or something else, or something else. Or they're making room for the new titles, but still, this is messed up all around. Wait, what was Sorry, this? I missed uh, that. What was it? Due to the severe severity of the recent attacks, we have no other option than to temporarily disable the game servers. We do not take these attacks lightly, especially when they target our loyal community members. Thanks for understanding. Um, and those so, are the the issues they were experiencing. Yes, yeah, so okay. apparently. A p- little big planet. Something? Oh wow! <laughs> like what attacks? Did I miss something? That I'm saying, I, I think they're lying, and this is not. Yeah, to mean to there weren't any attacks fine. seen here. They, 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 like, no, I, I really think they just wanted to take the servers down, and they need an excuse. I don't, I don't remember ever hearing about nothing with no attacks on the servers. Yeah, or they legit straight beyond here. See, it, if I was evil and I, I wanted to mess with people, I would just hack into like little big planet and like send aliens to everyone's planet to kill their characters. <laughs> or just drop un- or just drop a bunch of thalluses and vaginas on, on everywhere, and that'll get them banned. We are aware that. Yeah. No, I'm, no, I'm saying if you can hack Little Big Planet, you can probably hack their fucking servers. So why not hack the servers? That's what I'm confused about. Mm-hmm. But for them to claim, I'm willing to bet that they had. I think they just had a recent update, if I'm not wrong. Hmm. And I think they're using this as an excuse to do a really big patch update because I'm sure they screwed up a mechanic or. Maybe like an infinite duplication glitch or something. Or at least that's what I believe. Okay, now I'm getting a little heated. 
Sony, I don't give a fuck about a little big planet. Fix your fucking servers. You just released a patch for the PS4 that fucking brick PS4s. Oh, and then yeah. you, want, and then you mm. want people to be like, oh, we'll repair it for like $100. But go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, so yeah, apparently they said they're going to bring the servers back up, but now they're saying it's permanently shut down now because they couldn't figure out something. I think they're lying. You yeah, know, they're, they're totally lying. Big point, I mean, the thing is, I, I don't blame you for shutdown servers because you you have the new game out now. Was it Sackboy Adventures or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I can understand you want to put this behind you, but I mean, just say that. Like, I don't understand the point of you being like, oh, we're shutting down these servers because uh, there's a tax and uh. We got to combat these attacks by taking the server down temporarily. Then you come back. Uh, actually, JK, the server's down forever. Like, what? Oh, man. Uh, it's uh, like uh, 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 the solar winds. <laughs> oh, penguin for everyone. Lost their stuff. <laughs> I, I know Little Big Planet had a dedicated fan base too, because I know some people who were still playing this on the Vita. I never heard anything from them about no attacks, but I mean, like I said, you. You guys took it down because you want to take it down. I mean, it, and that's fine. It's your game. You're allowed to do that. But just say it. Or at least just dedicate one server only to it. Like, yeah. You, you still have a fan base that's playing it, like, religiously. Don't take their religion away. Or or at least uh, keep it where people can make private servers, like with um, uh, Fantasy Online 1 on the Dreamcast. You can still make um, private lobbies on there. Uh, you know, because the, the main lobbies, they, they've been done, shut those down. But, like, you can still make private lobbies on there and have fun with that. So, I mean, at least let, let them do that. I mean, something. No, I know exactly what's going to happen. It's like exactly what you just said. Oh, we'll take down the servers. Um, Let's just say next, I want to say next state of play, like two or three state of plays later. By the way, we're having a little big planet collection for the new PS5. Where all updated textures and everything and a new online... Yeah, I think... That's they're gonna exactly make, what they're going to do. Yeah. They're going to do some new game or a new collection or some shit like that. And you can move your server data, your, your, your data from that server to this one. Yay! Oh, see? Um, Here. understood. That's what they're going to do. So I just got home, too. I heard that car park. That's me. Congratulations. Welcome home, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had to go pick up food for my Alright. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, but yeah, this little big planet thing, I mean, i would never heard of no attack. I mean, none of the news articles, you know, I'll be on gaming news all day every day. Uh-huh. Uh, I ain't heard nothing about no attacks on no little big planet servers. Yeah, me uh, neither. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I'm not just said there isn't, I just haven't heard of it. <laughs> I feel like there might have been like one or two small ones, and then they're trying to say, "Oh, due to these attacks, oh, we got to take it down." No, 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 no. You just want to take it down. Fix your update. That's all I have to say. Because you had an update that fucking destroyed PS4s, and <laughs> you just now enable. You just now enabled the SSD, which should have came at launch. I don't understand why I didn't come at launch in the first place, but yeah, do something nah. about it, son. What I need to fix is their move from PS4 to PS5 thing. It took me too long to move those games PS4 to PS5. I was like, why is it still loading? That's crazy. Hey, man, you got a lot of games. Gonna gotta load up all them games. Yeah, bro, I loaded up five games and it took, bro. Listen. <laughs> with, the S- <laughs> with the SSD that small, that's too much, bro. <laughs> I said, yo, listen. Just five game games, off. man. Just move them. <laughs> you gotta take a game off, bro. Oh, that's too much games, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. But that small ass terrible. They put it in the PS5. They, they fucking criminal with that. <laughs> they could have put, put more. <laughs> Can't believe there was such things. Too much games. Hey man, don't be over there coughing up the organ now. <laughs> Bro, nah, he, Nicole, your thoughts on this? You guys were paying attention the whole time, so. It, it it was a stupid topic. Little Big Planet servers are uh, for the old one are all shut down permanently. Yeah, I agree. All They're BSing. 
Yeah, see, I've never played a little Big Planet game, so most likely I wasn't taking the TV. I, so. I only played the PSP one. The one it you ever played for free after they got hacked. Yeah, it was yeah. given out for free after they got hacked. I mean, after the yeah. PSP. Oh, that's got really that's a great strategy. Hey, we just got hacked, but let's go ahead and give you this game that just got hacked, that was easily <laughs> hackable for free, <laughs> instead of apologizing to everyone that got hacked so they got all your information. Yeah. The entirety of the PSN was hacked. Let's not forget that PlayStation has been hacked more times than Xbox, but they still call Xbox shit. Yeah. (laughs) The only reason they call Xbox shit is because they got more games under their belt than Xbox does. Yeah, Xbox has a problem own, here, which crazy. is weird because Xbox owns more game studios. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah, but X- Xbox owns more game studios. That just means they make money every time PlayStation makes a game from their game studios. You call that yeah. shit, okay, we're just going to hack a bug into your game so it breaks. You know what? You know what? Saying Xbox is smart because they let the um, business practice. You know, let the companies who worked on other, like you know, other titles, let them work on the other titles. Because now, like like the Bethesda, because they made um, Deathloop. They made Deathloop for a PS5. People play, P- um, you know, Deathloop for PS5. Then they're gonna know. Oh, this is from Bethesda. Oh, Bethesda with Xbox. That means they can make great games, which is gonna flock over. The- Microsoft's smart. They're not looking at the. They're not looking at now. They're looking at long term, but they should focus on now a little bit more. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Focus on the now. But yeah. So a uh, little bit planet. Uh, you guys lying? Oh, what's medium molecule? You guys lying? That's okay. Yeah. Let's move it. Let's groove it. Let's move Why it. Why the fuck are you lying? We are talking too fast. Why I just do not lying? care about little big planet. Uh. Now, Andrew Esports Tournament organizer to require proof of vaccination. For- oh, heck no. Oh, no, no. Okay. And the PGL president right there is saying, it's the only way to bring back Massive Land Esports events. Um, Are you sure about that? I mean, I can understand the whole... I should, okay. Me and DC talked about this yesterday. I talked about what? Vaccination and the... In- proper use of it and according to the bill of rights they can't force you to get these vaccinations because what if your religion is against that vaccination i would say yeah. it like this companies can fire you companies can fire you for less shit <laughs> i mean companies yeah. can technically do whatever they want because they're private and they can make their rules as long as it's within you know as long as they're not saying yo take your clothes off or something like that that's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a what a, what a, well. What if you're a model, <laughs> or you signed a waiver? Yeah, you you, you got to sign stuff for that. But uh, with this, um, yeah, I signed under arrest, but still, I I think that they should require you to uh have frequent like a COVID test and keep returning back uh you know negatives. For we could do this, that would work better than saying nah, you have to be vaccinated if you want to come to this um CSGO major. It's like really, mm-hmm. really. I have, to, I have to be vaccinated to come to CS:GO major. Like, I agree with that. To I, play, like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, and a bunch of workplaces are trying to force this as well. But mandates actually aren't laws because once again, they could be religiously, they could be religiously refused to. Their religion could be against this vaccine or anything else. And keep in mind, I have no problem with the COVID nineteen vaccine. I'm not saying my stance either way, though, because, you know, people get get all political, even though it's not a political thing. But um, I just I don't I think all you should all you should have to do is just keep returning back negative results. You know, maybe wear your mask on certain parts or like you and your team get tested. And, you know, you make sure the you don't have 100 million people watching in a crowded uh, stadium. (laughs) Or why not just build a like solid booth for individual players and have them like the team side by side and everything. Then they can play all they want in there. Yeah. Oh, that's too much. Once again, they don't have a hundred million people in a crowded stadium. Oh, go ahead. 
I was going to say, uh, I was going to say, kind of lost my point. Uh, oh, no, no, I got it. I got it. I was going to say, yes, you might not want to get vaccinated. It's, you know, like, it's, you know, you don't have to, like, it's not my right to, but companies can just fire you and claim it as something else. Yeah. Like, companies have been doing it, like, like, companies been getting away with shit like this. I want to say shit like this, but companies would, like, be firing people for less. So, if you're trying to say it's, I don't think I'm going to work at my job for so long because they require me to get vaccinated. I don't want to. You can always find a new job that doesn't require you to do that. Mm-hmm. And uh, for me, I'm on, even though I am vaccinated myself, I am for pro-choice. I'd rather for you to make the conscious decision for you not to get vaccinated than you force me to get vaccinated. <laughs> but <clears throat> at the exact same time, as I watch watching the deaths rising up, I don't think somebody I can make the good decision, but you know it's whatever. I've already had COVID, and I'm just going to say this: my antibodies in my body now should prevent COVID from happening. It can still happen, but it wouldn't be as worse as it was the first time. Yeah, and that's the thing about vaccinations is like, well, this vaccination is it's not going to prevent it 100. percent It's just going to well, less this- chance and then lessen the symptoms if you do get it. But like I said the whole thing with the vaccination is. Yeah, it just shouldn't be a requirement for, for I don't know, just I disagree with no, vaccinations no, 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 no. in general. You say no, no, yeah, same, you're saying I disagree. Right. No, no, you're saying it right. Pro choice. It should never be a requirement. It should be an option. Yeah. Never a requirement. It should definitely be a requirement. And like I said, if you want to get get the vaccination, you get it. But like I said, like they're telling people that you cannot participate in this major Thing. And like I said, they have ear, you know, headphones and stuff. So like I said, they could just have these booths for the team. Like I see you just guys keep returning back negatives, and you have to give them a negative report. That's all you have to do. But there's like, you know, that would work just as well as vaccinations. You just give them. The team just has you give, uh, you know, return back a negative report from you know, you know, the doctors. Uh, like when you get a COVID but test. The problem with that is there's still things as false positives and false negatives. So, yeah, but that's no more dangerous than the vaccine, though. Like, with some, some fact that vaccine, like, that you still have COVID. And, like, if you have vaccine and you're not getting COVID tested and you do have COVID, you can you can spread it without knowing you spread it because you're not having any symptoms. So, I mean, you guys have to get vaccine, not vaccine, you guys have to get tested anyway to be sure in the first place. So, I mean, that's the best way you can do it. And the thing is, for the audience, the thing is, they got to make it streamable because the audience can't come in because they don't want to spread it. Um, San, Diego, yeah. uh, San Diego Comic Con is about to be a really interesting time, but back to the topic at hand. Um, audience will have to stay home and they will have to stream it. And they could have, like what Epic said, they could have had booths. They could have had these big booths that, separ- that, uh, that separate both yeah. teams. And... <laughs> Each individual booth will have like you know each team. They'll have headphones communicating. So like this is an easable like this is an easy fix. But exactly you have to, you have to ask yourself: Are they going to spend the money for it? And they're probably not going to be willing but to see, spend the money. They don't have to spend the money as far as like they use money for locations like oh this big stage. Well, if the audience isn't even going to be there anyways, what you could do is you can go to an office building and rent out a floor. For, like, literally 10 times cheaper. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, you can add more money to buy. Like, there's a lot of ways they could do this. Plus, like I said, do not don't do not get it twisted. They have a bunch of sponsors who just come in and give them stuff. They get sponsored by, like, Office Depot or Office Max and get some of the stuff put there for the event. Like, I mean, it's there's just so many ways I feel like you could ease it a bit that... I don't know why they're not doing that instead. Like, but I mean, it's their event; they can do whatever they want. You know, they're a private company, so if they say they need proof of your vaccination for next year's events. Then that's what they need. Uh, but I just, I, I, I disagree with that. I would just slip a doctor fifty bucks and say, "Hey, like me, pers- just write that I went and got vaccinated." Okay, have a good day. <laughs> but. <laughs> But it is what it is. I mean, yeah. it, I think they're, they're a private company. They can do what they want. I just don't think you should have. 
I think you just have proof of you not having COVID. I think that should be good enough. But that, yeah, that, that really should be good enough, personally. <laughs> like, hey, I just play here, pretty much. Yeah. I don't know where I got that from. Uh, I'm just thinking. <laughs> yeah, it's... What do you think, Nicole, San Diego? Do y'all really want my opinion? Because cause Hot Side in D.C., I already know what I told them yesterday, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really want my opinion. Say it anyway. Yeah, so on, from a serious standpoint, for someone that actually works in a medical warehouse, honestly, we ended up having to have a class for, of course, for every employee that they were giving us more information on trying to feel comfortable about the vaccine and why people should get the the COVID vaccine. Now, for the fact that unless that is for religious reasons, you are allergic to needles, have medical issues, via, of course, like you have like diabetes or you're allergic to the ingredients that are in the shot. Okay, that is understandable. All you will have to do is contact the HR office of the company that you work for and let them know the specific reasons on why you literally cannot have the COVID vaccine for specific issues that are legit. <laughs> now, if you don't want to take the shot because you want to be an ass and because you want to hear all the rumors that someone else ended up having some sort of fake issue because they took the shot, then you just a big old dummy for that. No. If you want to end up being pro-choice and not want to take the shot because you still feel iffy about it, of course, understandable. You just still need to do your research on what is in the vaccine, depending on what you get and where you get it from. Now, if you're going to end up just trying to listen to other people via social media and all this other bull crap, then... Yeah, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> No. Let's, not talk, let's not talk about that. I had a friend that like fucking believed her, and I was just like, "Oh, God oh damn. wow!" <laughs> well, I'm She's Nicki Minaj, but keep going, Nicole. <laughs> now, for me, the only reason why I got it is because I was staying with my grandmother and aunt at the time, who both have diabetes. So that is why I got it. Now, for now, also when I asked one of the ladies who actually came to my job, of course, outside of YouTube, um, I did ask them about like how it would affect people who have asthma because that is one of the medical issues that I have because I have asthma because and allergies because that was pretty much, you know, I want to say heredita- hereditarily, uh, I think I'm saying that right, uh, gene- yeah, well, genetically yeah, right. through my yeah. mom's side of the family because that is what she has. It didn't. Now the shot did not affect me as bad, despite the, despite the fact that I only had like maybe a small headache from it and it was real sleepy. But other than that, it didn't affect my asthma at all because I haven't had an asthma attack since I was a kid. So, yeah. Wait, yeah, COVID. <clears throat> what? Yeah, COVID or something. She no, had the I'm vaccine here. shot. Oh, you yeah, had the vaccine, vaccine shot. No, you okay. had the I had shot. Both. Okay. I had both shots, but I'm just stating the fact that for the fact that I have asthma, if I, all right, let me put it this way: if I were to have COVID, knowing the fact that I have asthma, it would have not only like fucked me up, but it would have would probably been in, like a lot worse than any other person who doesn't have asthma because it would have fucked me up even more with me having asthma Pretty because. Problems. Yes. Huh? No, no, no. People, yeah, for people with asthma, if you have COVID, that's bad. It's pretty much bad news bears from mm-hmm. that point. But, yeah. So, in in other words, it would have fucked me up, like, like <laughs> it would have fucked me up the ass, dude. Like literally. Uh, I was just asking. Uh, I, I was just asking, what you get did. that? Yeah, I was just asking, like, like what you got because it's zoned out for a second. That was uh, So yeah. Because with me, I have asthma, allergies, and, of course, all the bad stuff that my mom got. So, if I didn't get the shot and I had COVID, yeah, 
I'd be shit out of luck and thinking that I'm dying. So, yeah. Thinking. <laughs> thinking. <laughs> I'd be in my bed thinking I'm dying if I had COVID. So, thinking I mean, not having dying. COVID, but Question, thinking I'm dying. Do you so, still yeah. have asthma? Oh, yeah, it come and go. But, I mean, it only affects me if I'm in another state and I'm not used to, like, their environment. The climate? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, but usually it'll start with my allergies first and then it'll trigger. If it's like, really, if it, let me put it this way. If my allergies start acting up, if I'm in another state to a point to where like my allergies are like shit, that mm-hmm. can pretty much trigger my asthma. And yeah, I'm going to be thinking I'm dying and have to go to a hospital. Yep. Thank you. I'm you actually way. have to go to a hospital. Uh, yeah. And that's if I'm, and that definitely, yeah, because, like, both of my parents, they stay in two different states. So, if I were to go visit either one, and I get sick, and it triggers my allergies, and then my allergies get back to where it triggers my asthma, both of either one of them, depending on who I'm with, have to take me to a hospital. Mm-hmm. So, yep. I understand that. Yeah. And that's everything, right? I don't know. Is it? it? What, was, what was the topic again? <laughs> Oh, you guys to the point with to where we started talking about COVID and all that stuff. Did the top yeah. was major esports tournament organizer to require proof of vaccination for 2022 events. Um, somewhere in the story. Fuck that. Pro choice. Next topic. All right, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, that, that's how I feel. Like you know, same. It, it is what it is. Next topic. Go. <laughs> From this point forward, things are going to get even dumber. Really? We're not the censorship corner yet. In fact, we're one topic away from the censorship corner, but from this point forward, things get even dumber. I think that's possible. We've been pretty dumb so far. Like, it's it's crazy. Could have fooled me. I can tell you that one. Anyway, apparently a Genshin Impact player is trying to sue over character changes. And to sum up this article, they... It was between the, a new five star character and another electro type character who was given away for free, and they're apparently upset that they're apparently upset that she was a, she was more powerful than the free one, so he decided to sue. The problem is that it would have had chance it it would have had chance if she were actually nerfed for him, if you if she were actually nerfed for him, if, or if any character was nerfed because that's hard to legal. That and Comp Gotcha, which is basically combining characters, is hard illegal. But this case here, no, it's not. Th- no way this would hold water. I thought he was going to sue because because the girl was not thick enough. That's how I thought. <laughs> what? Uh, she's not thick. <laughs> she's not thick enough. What the fuck? That almost thinking? happened when they nerfed a, they, when they nerfed one of their other characters. Oh god damn it! Oh. And by ner- nerf the thickness, not the not actual nerfs. Actual nerfs are are still hard illegal for so we for have companies people to do here. trying to assassinate these uh, developers, and then you got people trying to sue guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. People it's trying a- to sue because video. their favorite wasn't as powerful as a, as this person, and the assassination was over bunny girl suits on another game that they handled. Oh, what was wrong with the bunny suits? How do you fuck up a bunny suit? Uh, <laughs> they, I don't, they, I don't they, they excluded it her. from they excluded it from the China server, and that's and they caused the hellstorm. Well, isn't that because China like huh. made it where they couldn't? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Which when is I said I really weird. Yeah, I remember but... when I said that they should they should bring back brothels. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> It's like one of the things I mean. Another I'm huge done. example. <laughs> yeah. How about we bring back virtual brothels? Let's do that. No, uh, they're kind of already there. No, they they need no. It just needs to be brothels. It just yeah. needs to be. But still, but no, no, real no, no. brothels just will think have to about return. It. It's VR chat, but VR chat. <laughs> they're already there. They're already here, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's VR chat, but it's VR chat. You can get it on Steam. <laughs> Wait, gamer girl built up and got banned from YouTube. Wait, what? she got banned from YouTube? Oh, congratulations! She got. <laughs> congratulations. For what? 
Ush, Ush, she need to suck off to get back on. It won't be long. Don't worry, it won't Don't take long. Don't without knowing. <laughs> she oh, gonna s- Chad her For sexually explicit Chad content, me. apparent. What? Yeah. That's yeah. funny. She was mildly racy on YouTube. <clears throat> she only me, fans also, on, I wouldn't let her on my platform. Only fans that's that's somewhere true. else, on the other hand... She, she went all out, but warning, on YouTube. <coughs> no, no, no. My favorite line. According to her, however, she wasn't issued any warnings prior, and many fans and other YouTubers are calling it a double standard on this massive platform. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. uh, the um... same platform that has fully exposed Vagine when you look when you look up certain topics. It, here with here's what this is. Yeah, this is profiling. This is obviously they know who she is and they know what she is, and they didn't want her to bring that shit over to their platform. So they pretty much kind of this is exactly this is really is profiling. If they didn't give her a reason, they know exactly why. Oh yeah, they're, they're not giving people reasons anymore. They be shutting down channels left and right. Yeah. But I think the reason why they shut her down is probably because th- they're like, oh my gosh, she's a uh, she's promoting OnlyFans. Uh, we're a nice Christian channel, you uh, uh, you know, YouTube. Uh, we can't uh, we can't associate with this, basically. Didn't when somebody kill you? Shut up! Fire from you. <laughs> only, but somebody literally just killed them. Like they found their body and they're. Sh- 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 Scroll down real quick. Uh-huh. Family friendly. PewDiePie says he's retired from YouTube. Wow. Oh wow! I don't believe it. I don't believe it I either. He has a contract with YouTube. He's not retired. He has a contract. Ugh. He's still contracting with them. Yeah, her stuff was totally racy, but it's not as bad as things like, yeah, naked yoga, people restoring their foreskins, other junk like that. And that's all of what I've heard. By the way, there was a video where it was an old couple that was showing sex, and like you, they had actually have a video where the guy coming inside of the girl and all that. That's th- That was a video. <laughs> Why did yeah. you watch it? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You literally told me. Why did you watch it? No, 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 no. I didn't. No, no, no. I didn't watch it. Oh. Epic told me. I looked up the video to make sure it's true, and it was. And then I was like, I okay. <laughs> For fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why did you watch it? I didn't. Wa- I didn't watch it. Actually, I looked up. The, I looked it up, but I didn't click play on the video all right mm-hmm. yeah, but, and, yeah it, but yeah it does exist and that contained him nothing in her yep. wow I, I don't like how you phrase that wow let, let, let's just I don't move a, on I, I don't give a fuck how you like me phrasing that, that should exist Not and I, don't. You. I, I didn't like how um damn i didn't like how minos went and he nutted in her like that just the way he <laughs> phrased it. And he nutted in her. <clears throat> he nutted in her. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back to Kisha Impact. This is stupid. Yes. 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 Sorry. WWE. Anyway. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah. A character, pretty much, they came out with a character that was stronger than the free-to-play character, and now the guy's <coughs> because you, you can't do that. But I'm just like, well, technically they can't because of gotcha rules. And and I, I'm not too familiar with gotcha rules. I need to read up on that. But one of them, I know one of the laws is you can't have a, you can't summon for a character that needs another character to function. I don't know if, if you can pull out a free to play and have another character stronger than a free to play character. Mm-hmm. So you I don't know if he has a problem. Yeah. You absolutely oh. can. Yeah. Like oh. in it gotcha is they usually the starting character and like a character you pay for, a character you pay for is usually stronger or like a character that has a very low summoning rate. Like I know uh, Fire Emblem Heroes does this a lot where the characters have very low summoning rate where you're usually going to buy orbs just to summon them. They're significantly better than anyone that you already have on your team. Um, and so yeah, games can do that, and they have been doing that for years. And you there can you also have, have no ground to stand on. You can also have characters that have a skill or something that 
supports another character. But it the main one of the main parts of the gotcha rules is you literally can't nerf care can't hard nerf characters, and you and you can't have comp gotcha where you can combine certain characters to make an <laughs> ultimate character. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's hard to leave. That's the only one I know. Yeah. Yeah, for, for Dragon Ball Z, in order for you to have. I, they don't do characters that fuse into one character, but if they did do it, like Buchigiri before he got shut down, the character that you have to fuse with was free to play. And the character that you need to fuse with, the other half is like you have to summon for it. So that's how they usually do it. They make the fusion half free to play, and they make that one weaker, and then you have to summon for it with the re- for the rest of the kit. It's EVA, it's EA level evil, pretty much. But it ain't that evil. <laughs> Gambling shenanigans. Mommy, I don't want to work with that guy anymore. Too Ugh. bad. Too bad. Nicole, do you have anything for this? Yeah, no, because I was paying attention. So yeah, no. Oh yeah, we lost her on the bell dolting parts. If Not it doesn't fully seem understandable. That all I'm going to say, if it doesn't seem that interesting, most likely I'm not going to pay attention to it. Honestly, this yeah. topic right here was so uninteresting to me, I read that topic right there in my building. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like, don't lie. That's why I read the topic in the first place. <laughs> Breaking news, Twitch, uh, Twitch want to do something about the DMCAs and, uh, and uh, try to help give warning to music content and all that shit. But oh, mind you, it oh. took them how long to issue DMCA's and shit like that? Okay, real quick, why they're doing that? I'm being viral. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's move it. <laughs> Dude, I started to sing that song from King that King Julian me singing from Madagascar. I'm like, nah, I gonna do it. <laughs> oh yeah, move, we girl. can get we can get we. We can get destroyed via copyright, and that's why certain people do unarchive streams, because they're <laughs> they're they're able to remove remove the archive as well, but it doesn't delete the video. <laughs> All right, Blood Rain revamped and Blood Rain revamped two announced for Xbox One, Switch, oh, and PS4. Um, Dude, yeah. I haven't played a Blood Raid game in so long. I was actually just thinking about that game yet. Like, what was it? Like, a couple of days ago? Didn't the remaster okay. come out on Switch? I it's thought gonna. so. thought so, but now it's gonna. <laughs> okay. Also, so, uh, we may have to look news. out for any censorship shenanigans here. As always, I have to point this out. But other than that, this also looks very interesting. I want to give this a try. I'll play it. I mean, I like Blood Rain, so why not? Like I said before, shout out D. Sluice who did the. Uh, I think he did the art to Blood Rain. A thing for the remaster. Oh. This art. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Pull it back up again. Nah, not that one. It's the uh, 2D one from the uh, remaster. For oh, the uh, 2D 2D version of it. Oh, the 2D version of it. Oh. Yep. That'd be pretty cool because I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd actually play it again. Yeah, I played number one. I never played number two, so I mean. That's yeah, the second one. So, yeah, the second get one. your wallets yeah. ready, simps. Get your wallets ready because I know y'all like that vampire. T- <laughs> All right, let's get. It was- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ever played it. Uh, I I know I haven't played this. I haven't played the second one, but I know I played the first one though. Yeah, like I played the first one. I honestly oh, did not I know, why I know there was a second weird. one. She looks like the chick from uh, Fifth Element. Kind of. I thought she looked like the chick from Underworld with the just with a red hair. <laughs> yeah, the chick from Fifth Element. You talking about? <laughs> oh, I, you talking about? Oh, Celine. I said from Underworld. Oh, I, said, I thought Underworld. you said in underwear. I'm like the chick from Fifth <laughs> Element. No, I said he's Underworld. Talking, he's talking about Celine from Underworld. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so I did not know there was number two, so this is my first time playing number two. But, uh, yeah, revamped? Let's go. 
Um, I seen Bloody Rain for the Xbox. I got scared and didn't want to play it. And then when I found out about it, I said, wow, this game is horny as fuck. With <laughs> so that's my history on it. Come on, you're playing as a vampire lady sucking blood from it, looking sexually at it. Don't, don't tell me that doesn't look like... Look, at his, <laughs> this, look like, at his art right perfect. here. Yeah. yeah that tells you <laughs> Yes, I know a lot of guys would love to have her just put those bazonka bazonkers on their face. All right, all right. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's welcome. Yeah, let's move it. My demon waifu. It's my demon waifu. All right, go ahead. <laughs> this is not VR chat. Move on. <laughs> 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 I, I, I figured like it VR went down lot. that. I think it went. I figured it went down that way in VR chats, but wow. Nah, in VR chat, oh, it'll no, be that, like a lot of people cosplaying he her with deep tame. voice. What he just said is tame. VR chat is a lot more in a lot faster thing. Put it that way. Anyways. Oh. If this was VR chat, there'll be a lot of people like coming in looking like her with deep voice. What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> with half the clothes on. Yeah, we have to close on. Yeah, see, if I gotta see a guy doing that, I'm like, a- I'm just be looking at them low key creeped out. Hell no. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> no. There's a term for that. It's called Bobby Niku, but I think that only applies to to no, virtual streamers. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I, Topic. Yeah. Topic. See, y'all done made me and the uh, freaking stop what I was saying to see that. No, 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 no. Next topic, next topic. Oh. We, we already. <laughs> we, we went, <laughs> we went yeah, into death. Y'all gonna make me get off now, too. We are far off the deep end now. Vanilla <laughs> wall paintings reach. HD updated and desexualized in patch 9.1.5. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the censorship corner. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, they nerfed that real bad. Yeah, they <laughs> nerfed him real bad. That's crazy. So, a- Acta Blizz's is- latest attempt to try to put the toothpaste back into the tube is more censorship for World of Warcraft. <laughs> Wait. This time they're they altering really these change a-, a lady sit- sitting down to fruit? That's yes. great, man. Uh, yes. Y'all sure that's fruit? Cause I'm on my okay. Wait, that is fruit. Never mind. I want to say that sure do look like a fruit. Something else, you. Yeah, Literal fruit. <laughs> you looking sexy, fruit? Oh, look at that minute. <laughs> it's exciting. literal female it's objectification. This is literal no, okay, female objectification. At... Yeah, cause see, I'm looking at this from my phone. And I'm just like, y'all sure that's fruit? Cause that apparently kind of look like something else right there for a second. Like, yeah, damn fruit yeah, looking all exposed and shit like that. <laughs> and may have, according to this, many of the many of the pictures were actually after real life paintings. But I definitely like the second one more than the still, first one. Yeah, wait, of this? because the second one is in high. The second one's in higher detail. The first one is not. I know, the but first the one first one looks like it's an oil painting, even though it's got. Painting like ridges on the background of it, mm-hmm. and it looks like an oil painting. Whereas the second one looks like an actual painting all the way through. Yeah, I think it's one thing because that the second one's HD. The first one is from when the game first came out. Yeah, but so whatever yeah. graphics those were like three sixty i. It, it still doesn't. To me, it looks more. It doesn't look like <gasps> a painting. Yeah, I'm just saying if 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 this one was an HD like this one, it would look better. Better. Yeah, but, this one looked better if this were HD. Yeah, because the they first HD one. this, but instead they put clothes on her. All right, real talk, yeah. real serious talk. Um, I'm going to have to go with Chase on this one. The clothes on the second one just, like, that paint just looks, even though the other one is blurry, and if it would look, you know, HD would look better. I don't know. I just like her outfit more in, this, in the newer one than, this, than the first one, even though the first one does look like she's ready to, you know, suck, suck, suck somebody off. But <laughs> <laughs> She's about That's to be all. a vampire for you. Yeah. Exactly. Sucky, sucky time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I know his type now. <laughs> but I'm gonna always say, like I always say this, it is all right to make a girl sexy. It is all right to make a woman sexy and beautiful and all that to attract young males and 
Yeah, that is it. Young males and some females actually to your game. It's and not okay. Change from no, you're forms. you're forgetting the non-binary. You make sure to correct that. <laughs> oh, and non-binary. Thank you, Chase. Thank you're you welcome, for letting me remember. He's about to get. I was about to get canceled. Thanks, man. <laughs> you're about to get docked. Oh. Nah, canceled. You almost nah, got canceled. docked. <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> Oh yeah, this was with. Oh yeah, I forgot to. There's a the close button. Yes. That was why I meant when they when this thing said they were after that some of the pictures were after real life pictures. But that's oh, yeah. not that's that's, that's a famous not the... picture. No, no, the picture the on the left. I know is it's part after of the, game. the the right yeah. picture. Yeah, the, I... the picture on the left is the. <laughs> Is the wow version of the one on the right? You know what yeah. they look like? The pictures on the left, they look like the uh, gremlins. I think that's the point. That's the point. Okay. They're freaks. <laughs> no, not freaks. The <laughs> gremlins. It's like, oh, after they drink water after midnight, they multiply. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the gremlins are freaks. Yeah. So this, trend, so this is trend is going around. I agree. Newer art nowadays is shit. <laughs> They charge you way too much for pretty much paintings and art that doesn't look that good. But yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, if y'all don't know, there's some art that's been going around. They've been selling for half a billion dollars, and it looks like a three-year-old drew it. <laughs> and art that actually looks really good and really professional. Is going around for like twenty dollars. So <laughs> I mean, hey, look, look at how much you can you can get someone to commission art for for like cheap, but then Butch Hartman wants to charge you all that money, and his looks like, oh, uh, that's story for a different time. Shout yeah. to Butch Hartman. And the many pictures that look mm-hmm. like someone took a dump in it, a rainbow colored dump in it. Yeah, Butch Hartman. I don't want to. Pay, um, that somehow I sells. Pay rights to a, I don't want to pay rights to stream video games. I just want to stream and advertise your game because I think your game is good. I don't know. I, that's not Butch Hartman, but that's somebody else. But still, yeah, that's like, I feel like he had the mindset of that. Too. Yeah, that's I mean, the advantage good. of indie streamers against corporate streamers. Corporate streamers need need the licenses, but it does help. It does help both parties. Oh, uh, Epic was that Butch Hartman that said, or was somebody else? I forget. They did what? Um, say that you need the rights to like. If streamers want to stream the game, they need the rights in order to stream the game instead of just illegally doing it. Oh, yeah. That's, That's why he only streams, like, uh, games from Nickelodeon with his characters in it and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He couldn't have a Smash Brothers of his own, so he had to give his shit as a big and Nickelodeon. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. But Charmin, he's a, I think he's, like, 50-something, so I think he just thinks differently because of it. he's a separate generation, which is, once again, why you need more younger people in the industry mm-hmm. because... They know more about the internet than these older people, but yeah. Mm-hmm. You old fucks. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. You old fucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a part two to this topic. No. Yes. Okay, go Blizzard removing World of Warcraft references to Saxon hoes and their and their achievements. Why? Who cared? No, no one. I don't care. <laughs> Next topic. No one. <laughs> well, at least, well, at least Blizzard is bros before hoes. Huh? Huh? <laughs> no, they got they got rid no. of sex. So yeah, I they got rid of the bros. <laughs> yeah, the bros been left. <laughs> Facts before stacks. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Blizzard. I don't care about you. Oh, next topic. <laughs> don't Blizzard, worry, you okay, guys. Stop we are you going to help you develop? A developers? bit of preparation because no. we're going to head okay. to Sankaku again. Sankaku. Like, we care <laughs> about the developers. Are you sure? <laughs> no, we care about money. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> cool. If you care I'm about sorry, money, it's in your even, wallet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't fake enthusiasm for that. I just don't care about them. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, EA. Don't worry. We care about. Money, I mean you. No, you right? don't. No, you they care. don't. Uh, you don't care for nothing. 
<laughs> Blizzard, don't worry, we take care of our money. I mean, staff. That's what we mean, staff. Speaking of losing money, we're now on the censored game of the show. And we're going back to gotcha games, meanwhile. Oh boy. Yeah. For this time, the censored game to show is the Chinese version of Fate Grand Order because a new law of their a new censorship law of theirs ended up run a foul of end up having the servants run a foul of a lot of them. And that's literally most of the China origin servers. Servants, sorry, servants. What's what, why what? <laughs> yeah. Do we do we explain this like last podcast where it was like Chinese didn't want feminine looking be- yeah, we, we Uh we did, but this time there's way more than feminine men in this case. Like, yeah, they're going There's a whole list yeah. There's a whole list. One of the most ri- yeah. Ugh. One of the most ridiculous right here. This one used to be Wu Zetian until her and a bunch of other, and a list of a whole other servants ended up getting, ended up getting sent, their art censored this way, their voice lines removed, and, and even their names removed. Wait, they changed the women to men? Yes. Yep. No. They're becoming Russian, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, as you see here. You ever see the episode that Russia changed of, uh, what is that show called? Um, Crystal Gems? uh, Steven Universe. They changed one episode where, like, Lapis and Ruby, they made Ruby a guy. Ruby Sapphire. Yeah, Ruby Sapphire. Uh, Yeah, Ruby Sapphire. Ruby's a dude in Russia. Yeah. Um, alright, alright, let me say like this. Well, like, they, so they're changing all the females to men, even though uh, they clearly made a law that they said our men, like, if you're going to change the men, you can't yeah, have them looking. They feminine. did this to they did this to many male characters as well. No. There's a lot, yeah. And I don't get what they want. Like, who? Who's, Bro, fuck off, China. yeah. Fuck off. Who, who's One, the fucking prime minister of China right now? Like, yeah. who shoved the needle up Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> Winnie, A.K.A. Winnie the Pooh. Who yeah. put his back in his chair and said it was a <laughs> video game character's fault? Like, uh, seriously. Thanks, China. You always know what's that? best. You have so many uh, game-creating studios in your fucking homeland, and you're trying to mm. fuck them right now. Yeah. Fuck you. No, you got... The worst of it... They have... I don't know about the sprites, but the worst scene of her... Uh, worst I've seen so far was once again Wu Zetian he, he, over here. No, they have a no. China has a lot of stuff on their plate to do. The last thing you should be working on, like worried about, is video games. Like seriously, what do yeah. <laughs> video games ain't nothing but entertainment. But they thought it upon themselves that entertainment's poisoning to you for some fucking reason. So that's why they're going fucking mental in video games. Yeah. <clears throat> And they change it to no English as well or something. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I, don't I have understand. the list here. The, no the underage list. love allow. Okay. Uh, by underage love, they mean puppy love between the, between the actual between kids or the teenage love in high school or something. I don't care. Why yeah, but they, still. Never, I don't think anyone cares. No blood allowed. What? No words allowed that could let one think of murder such as kill. No females in underwear allowed. No cleavage allowed. No, this man had a bad breakup. Yeah. No attacks on female genitals or breasts allowed. No touching them allowed. No provoking the opponent allowed. No skulls or bones allowed. No brutal actions allowed. No getting rewards from P- PvP. So I can't. Hey, I just saw the perfect game for China, and I'm going to make it, and I'm going to sell it to China directly and only China. You know what's going to be called? White noise. It's just a <laughs> white world. That's it. What are you talking about? I already sent a game to them right now. It's called Nothing. Because you can't <laughs> have anything. You can't have no. anything. down the list. You can't scare no. the player. 
No content depicting democracy allowed. No demonstrations allowed. Wait, what? No Wait, content isn't going... there an old man that lives in China that plays, like, uh, what's that game called? Oh, Dragon yeah, Walkthroughs. Like, he plays Dragon Souls every day on Twitch or something like that? Uh-huh. Or is it something else? Anyways, he plays one of the hard, most hardcore games to ever come out in the history of games as of current. And it's got so many jump scares, and he still plays it like it's nothing. Wow. Let me t- let me tell you a secret. This is for adults, not for kids. <laughs> l- 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 yeah. Let me tell you a secret. There's ratings on the games that tell you who should be able to play them. And if you don't understand what the numbers fucking mean, ask. Yeah. No, no, no. There's no, literal no, no, age range for no, this. No, 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 no. But going back this game to this literally, list. It's literally this game is literally meant for adults. And not really meant for kids, even yeah. though it has an E for everybody. And nope. they could and they could age gate it too. But no, let's just censor it out the hell. Fake yeah. Grand Order no entirely content? is a hard teen. Hard T for teen, yeah. according to in case of ESRB. Yeah. No content going against communism now, nor glorification of people or country that invaded or colonized China allowed. So no Japan <laughs> content. Oh, uh, no content allowed that depicts <laughs> great Chinese people as something they were not in reality. No and content that, about genitals. No content no sex about. Allowed. Yeah. Hmm. Well, or they hints like sex. Of war. They still butt her about them losing. No content about bi transformations or bi modifications. No drugs or mill integration. No, no degrading in gen- others in general. So you can't play Transformers, okay? Nope. Robots in disguise. No depicting uh, prostitution what, or anti. The, uh, what's the game that came out like within the last year? It's like it was really popular for having a lot of bugs. Uh, sci-fi uh, punk theme. Fallout seventy six. What? Right. Fallout seventy six. Right. We no. don't mention that game on this podcast. We, we, we're not talking about that game. I'm t- oh. uh, Steam steampunk. Uh, oh, Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, that's yeah. definitely allowed here. Definitely not allowed. Where are we at? No, to pre- no content depicting prostitution or anti society organizations, no fortune telling or non specific actions, and no English. The no game English? will be family friendly and peaceful. I'm sure of it. <laughs> yeah, I wish someone would send me that email. Did someone, someone say no English? <laughs> yes, no, that's the last one. No English. Okay, it's it's all good. We can still do English. <laughs> <laughs> and the 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 part that of this law that they ran afoul was no content allowed that depicts great Chinese people as something they were not in reality, which was literally most of Fate's versions of the of this of this list of Chinese servants. Yeah. Can someone no send me this oh, list? Good I, because... I, I'm going to specifically make a game and send it to China with all of this in it. Mm-hmm. Um, no English? That's good because not even English people can speak English. <coughs> uh, that's wonderful. Yes. I will 100% make a game destined uh. with all of this, the whole list of stuff <coughs> that said I can't have in it and send it to everyone in China. Uh, imagine like said, summoning a placeholder. One day, one day, Chinese is going to do something that they're going to piss off a lot of people, and then their people are going to rise up. And if they get their emperor's head on the spike, that's on them. <laughs> you mean yeah. the prime minister? Prime minister, emperor, whatever you want to call them. I mean, same thing. The prime minister uh, is the emperor. Let's be honest. But uh, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, people like I'm. I'm just saying, this you know is not the- a warning. You it's know what's weird? Them, that can, uh, they don't up. reward talent over there. Well, well, I say it's weird because it's a culture thing here. You'd rather reward someone that's good at their job than someone that's shit at the job, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, over in China, there's they'd rather you be working for them for years and you'll move up the corporate ladder, even if you're shit at your job. Even if you suck super hard. Oh, you've been working for us 30 years? Okay, you're the VP. Oh, uh, you worked 32 years? Now you're the president. Good luck. (laughs) 
Yes. I also have heard one more thing, you know. Uh, I might tell y'all after the podcast. But. It, let, let, me, let me just say it like this. Because I'm American and, you know, I wouldn't say, you know, American freedom. We're, let, let me just say it like this. We're not really free. We just got, you know, freedom of thinking and all that stuff. Because I am pro-choice. I don't, I don't really like the way they're doing their things over there in China. But, mm-hmm. if people, if, you mm-hmm. know, if y'all... F- if people in China fine with that, then that's on them. But yeah, I agree. I, I, yeah, just I don't know how y'all can like you know live like that. Just because it's have, the, it's culture, it's how they yeah. were raised. Exactly, and I'm like, if you give them a taste of what you know, not being up somebody's ass feels like, I bet you they will come back over and be like, this is bullshit. <laughs> yep. 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 Yeesh. And there's the messed up part about this. Some people are actually celebra- celebrating this. Some people are actually celebrating this travesty because one of the people that got hit happened to be a lowly character, even though there are literally other characters of their. They didn't pay attention. Literally, other characters of their types also got also got the hammer. By the way, don't trust That's that. The- don't trust. If they said a lot of Japanese people like agree with the government, all of that, I don't trust uh, that. No, we, it was. We, a- and this was outside China. This was the, this was the English area. See, I don't get why they didn't just create an option to change the artwork, like have an option in the game where it's like, since yeah, mode. they do, they do already. They had that, but they had but that, the, but the emperor didn't like seeing it. So yeah. he said, "I'm gonna get rid of it." Here's her, for example. But you yeah, know who that else art they hit? Bad. San Zang, which was who I was feeding that one episode. We know I was feeding are. her embers that one episode. We know. Yeah. You should feel so. ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was, what I was trying why? to say earlier was... I'm kidding. I was trying to say earlier, like, um, I don't know why, but um, if a lot of Chinese people are saying, good, it shouldn't be like this, don't trust those, because a lot of Chinese accounts is like monitored by the government and they can literally hack into people's accounts to make it look like a lot of Chinese people, you know, don't want this, even though that's not the case. Yeah. Which which they do monitor a lot of people's accounts and kinda, you know, say stuff that not a lot of Chinese people agree with. I have seen it before. But it's it's good. Yeah. And well, it's not ca- good, but you know what I mean. And to counter all of and to counter all of what was saying back there in the case of the English spear, yeah. The censorship is a problem. The censorship is also a huge problem for it for literally the whole a whole art <laughs> medium. Because some yeah. You can't be selective with it with something you don't like because it'll eventually hit something that you do like, and at that moment the guys ahead of you the the guys ahead of you will be unable to help you at that point. And and the guys that were behind you that you cheered on getting destroyed, they're sure not gonna help you at all. The only thing, yeah, the only thing this is gonna work. The only thing that's gonna be destroyed if, is if you destroy it from the root or def- or actually defend the part that's being attacked the most. Are, are we still on a Chinese topic? And that's or it. Kind of on it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. And I'll be all. China is not gonna change. It will literally have to be like some type of people have to revolt. Something has to happen over there for them to snap to make it like the world's kind of different. I hope this the is going to prime minister. Sorry, this is going to keep happening until somebody you know change it because I don't Chinese is cracking down on all video games for some reason because I don't know they're they're poisoning our youth and our youth shouldn't be playing video games, which. That's why I didn't like it because, like I said, pro-choice. If people want to play video games, don't let them play video games and shit like that. But whatever. But yeah, this is going to keep happening until something changed. So yeah, yeah. Um, Nicole San Diego, you got anything to this story, or are you good? Nah, I'm good. Mm. All right, next topic. Oh yeah, one more thing. I like the point. I looked at the list again and. One of the characters only has a only has a Chinese servant to, that's they're a pseudo servant. They only have a Chinese spirit that's possessing them, but they aren't originally Chinese. They still got hit anyway. The other person the apparent the other person apparently didn't. 
There was one more person like that, but they didn't get the hammer. Titties and ass exist. Next topic. Yeah. Yeah, just give me a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Epic, are you there? Yeah, I thought we were so stupid I had to take a break in my mind. <laughs> my, 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 uh. fellow was, my guy was like, uh-uh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> time to go to it's time to go to China. It's time to go talk to the talk to the prime minister and ask, tell him like, hey, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. I just don't understand what his thought process to this stuff was. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I know what happened. He probably played Call of Duty, got shitted on it. <laughs> yeah. Shit. And then it was like, all right, tell him. <laughs> yeah, this is the same guy that's been that's been. <laughs> This is the same guy that's been being joked around that he was Winnie the Pooh, and for that he banned he banned the entirety of that series from China. He yeah. legit did when people start talking about Pooh Bear. He's like, nah, son. Yeah, you people will respect me. Dog, yeah, he really human. hated that. You're a clown. You people will respect me. You are human. You're nothing more but a clown. <laughs> I do not respect you at all. What you who you think? Um, Prime Minister, when the uh, one gang, like the one horror gang called, pretty much insulted him, called him like Winnie the Pooh, and he got mad and he, like banned the game from. Chi- Not only he banned the game from China, they have made Steam to take it. Like they told Steam for him to take it down, and Steam was like, no, no, no. But later on, Steam was like, all right, take it down, which was stupid. <laughs> I, I would have said no. I would have said no. Nope. I would have my ground and said no. And- they didn't break any rules, so fuck you, Prime Minister. Ugh. Ugh, man. Speaking of which, have some more China. Welcome to the dumb news segment. Oh, no. Oh, yes. China's regular regulators said to slow their approval of new online games as Beijing's campaign against gaming addiction heats up. Oh, uh, here's Why the thing. Games. I, there's a right now. I can point out that there's a loophole for games that are not online, <clears throat> single pair non online games. But they may still end up messing with. They may still exploit that loophole. Oh, but I just still. looked it up. He goes by the title president, so President G. Um, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, you can't actually vote. He just there. Oh, uh, I feel like President Xi was playing an online game, got beat, and was like, "I'm done video games." Also, yeah. I feel like China's really mad about losing Olympics. I think they're really mad about that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, did you hear what the thing with China was trying to do? They was trying to tie, like you know, oh, since we own Taiwan and all of them stuff. That we can just add the metals onto each other. I'm like, no, no, no. It doesn't work like that. Can't do that. Because technically, that wouldn't be fair because USA and Russia is literally one representing that one person. Yeah, you can't do that. No way. Because they try to count, yeah, they try to count other metals with them, they increase their number, and I'm just like, dog, you lost. Get over it. As pointed out here. Can Last time, a, as pointed out here, apparently in 2018, there was a 9 on 3s on new video game approvals in general, and that really hurt them. So, it's extremely good chances are this is only just going to hurt them again. <laughs> that in the video game ban, that in the, the online video game ban for those under 18, but then again... Those that sat the same guys will just either use their use their parents' account or some or use a Veeper or something else. Mm. Like, oh no, I can't play video games anymore. Dad, can I play on your home account? Yeah, sure, son. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but then they hop on his account and then they play it. But you saying that China like China's starting to crack down on that too for some reason? Uh, yeah. Well, they, what are you going to do? Like, what, like, how are they going to regulate that? No idea, but yeah, it's, I think it's fruitless. I, mean, I wonder China, how personally it's totally fruitless. China did a whole ban on video games for like 
10 years, but the problem was they were still the video game capital of the world because people were just playing them in private, mm-hmm. which is why China unbanned them because they realized that was the one law that citizens did not care about and kept breaking more citizens than they could try to, you know, arrest. So they brought it back, air quotes, because no one had ever <laughs> let it go. And they keep, they keep trying to fight video games. I don't know why. It makes them so much money. But I really just think he dislikes it. I think I think he's really mad that the Olympics didn't go their way, too. So he's like, it must be video games. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, and they call it spiritual opium as well. And... And there, and China has a really bad history with opium. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so what's that got to do? Okay. Anyway. Um, the reason why it's um, the reason why China got a video game problem, like he said, let me continue um, Epic's thing. There's a lot of people. There, China has one of the biggest populations on the earth besides India. There's a lot of people that plays video games in China. That's why it's one of the biggest in the world because a lot of people play it. <clears throat> so the funny I, thing about China is because they have so many people, like yeah, I think like with with America, it's estimated about thirty to forty percent of the people in the states play video games. But China is estimated anywhere from fifteen to twenty, so percent, so less percent. But because they have a bigger population, it uh, leads to more people naturally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, it's not like it's a huge problem in China where people are just everyone's playing games, no one's getting anything done. No, most people in China don't play games. It's just because they have such a large population. The fifteen twenty percent that do, that's a huge amount because <laughs> they have a whole lot of people there. And then they're also losing. They're going to lose so much business if they enforce the game violation stuff because mm-hmm. they're literally China's got so many uh what are they called internet cafes. Yeah. So yeah. Most people that go to an internet cafe go there to unwind. Some people go there for research like a library, but I would say it's mainly uh going there to play games or but yeah. And they get a lot of tourists when they come to China. They go to China and go to internet cafes, which is why a lot of them have become tourist friendly, where they have different languages up there for you. And they have diff- people who can speak different languages like French, English, Spanish and stuff, because they know that's a, that's a tourist spot now. You know, so it's it's very it's very lucrative for them. And, you know, the government gets all that money. So it's very lucrative for the government. So it's weird. The government's like, nah, we got to end it. I, I don't know. Um, also, also video games also a problem to them because they can't moderate every video game out there, and they know they can't. The problem about video games is the whole. If y'all remember the whole Animal Cross situation, where mm-hmm. yeah, you know, reach people, Taiwan, yeah, they was like speaking their mind, and you know how China don't like that because they're totalitarian. Oh yeah, they don't yeah. want people to have a. <clears throat> they, want, they don't want people having a voice and all that stuff. So and that's, that's how what, they banned Animal Crossing. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. that's why they don't like games Not with the chat system. What the heck was that? They don't want people speaking their mind. Oh, that's Brittany. I mean, Nicole. What? I there, that was, was Romeo. All I heard, hey, all I heard was something about the banning Animal Crossing. I'm like, no! Oh, that's China. They, they banned it because... China banned um, it a while back. Yeah. No. Like, people can speak their mind. <clears throat> And island, islands that were on chi- on China's servers were were having all these free Hong Kong and Tibet and stuff, but appa- but China didn't like it, so they banned the game. No. Yeah, they're douchebags. Okay. Note to self: When I sell people video are, games, people don't are sell people to now. China. People are people, not robots. Go ahead. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. No, they could be. Yeah, none of this regulation is going to fit anything, neither. <clears throat> you know what else isn't going to fit anything? Being butthurt in... Not only being butthurt, being butthurt enough to still heart can't be able to heart cancel anyone. Okay. And that's actually the next topic. 
Oh. Segways. Oh, we're talking about China. Yeah. My, my, yeah, more my China. Brain. This time, this time uh. a game, this time a game company sucking off China. Clayism removed Kason from their TGS 2021 live stream after Chinese backlash. Yeah. And I actually hinted that only part of part of Kason's disaster. Back when she was in her old persona, she was just reading she was just reading YouTube analytics. One of the analytics, uh, analytics pointed out Taiwan as an entirely different country and long story short, she caught serious hell for it. Her job was managed to save, but then, but then management within that didn't like the outcome ate her alive, and she and she booted it from there. She's now back as an independent streamer, but uh, but once again, China doesn't like this. Those same butthurt people went to play uh, playism, and and they bit in the knee and booted her. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like I said, yeah. y'all do not like freedom of speech. Yeah. It's not like that. I cannot do this many China topics back to back. It's, it's yeah, not good for my brain. Just... Oh. President Xi. Isn't China like the out for biggest a second. country besides like Russia? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they make Russia look free. <laughs> they make Russia look more freedom of speech. By yeah. The way. You know, it, I'm going to say this. It's sad when President Xi. Is banning and outlawing more things than Kim Jong Un. That's just crazy. Yeah, um, that's crazy, man. Uh, and their thoughts Nick, today. Yeah, of Nick course Kim they Jong-un had like Donald Trump. <laughs> of crazy. course they had this fake apology and everything, and this and all this does is just make them look dirtier and make Billy Billy far more dirtier. This was originally po- was going to be posted and streamed on Billy Billy. I don't get why they don't realize the next chain of like competitions are going to be esports like last what was it last year or year before Fortnite champion won what three million dollars yeah literally think- enough over there to buy a mansion uh the mansion beside it and then all the fucking acres of land they ever want i mean, think it's china has their own sponsored esports league well, yeah. I feel bad for them because their league is going to go to shit. If they yeah. follow their guidelines, they're going yeah. they're going to shit. There's and no the way they good. can. The league has yeah. won multiple championships. So it's just weird that China, they seem like they make so much money off of gaming, but they hate gaming. And I think they don't hate gaming. President Xi had a bad experience with something. Yeah. But I, I don't know. No, like I said, they don't, I don't think they like, how open gaming is like they don't like it that you can say anything you want in a gaming field or like pretty much you know you can say you see whatever you want and everything like they can't monitor it like they can monitor everything else that's why they don't like it (laughs) yeah i don't know why they don't like when people think for themselves or anything like that you know like i said freedom of choice yeah they don't like that you ever watch the movie bug's life yep Bugs life. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Think of the president, <gasps> the China, president of China, as Hopper, and then think of all the ants as China. <laughs> yeah, this also if goes back one to cancel has an culture. Idea and they all rise up. Fucking president of China is going to get thrown off a building. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and what they're trying to prevent for... this whole time. Bro, like I said, like I said before. <laughs> I think I said that when they did the whole COVID thing, the COVID thing leaked from China. It's already bad enough that like none of the UN wants to. Um, I think we need to monitor these people to make sure that we don't have any more viruses coming from them that kind of fucked over the world, and they don't want to hold China accountable to it because they wouldn't like because they can have their fucking sweatshops oh. where they're for like cheap. <laughs> That's still that might still be the reason. Bullshit. Yeah. No, no. Think about it. Where does most people <laughs> talk shit? On video games. Yeah. So oh, they're playing video part. games against before. each other and for like China server and all they hear is fucking Chinese gave us COVID and fucking fuck faces and <laughs> it's 
Sorry, I just got done playing COD, so I'm a little <laughs> toxic. No, you're good. I was toxic earlier, too. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> yep, a little three-year-old. At least you weren't as toxic. At least you weren't as toxic as Darkwind's level of toxic. <laughs> Apparently, he did. I still got two, video, two or three videos of his that I can't ever upload for him because he just said some stuff in there. <laughs> He went maximum gamer, and that was why. Sorry. This also comes back to cancel culture, which is already a whole nother breed, a whole nother breed of toxic. We should start another channel and call it the Demonetized. Bro, that's oh, why. Yeah. I'm, bro, that's why I'm fucking scared of. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm scared of China. Like, I'm scared of y'all gonna release. No, nah, I don't want to put it out in the world. I just, <laughs> I just. <laughs> China, I wouldn't, UN, you need to, I want to say spy on China, but you need to get more information out of them than just saying, oh, no, you, nobody can spy on us. We're going to be left to our own devices. No, because when you, list, when you released the COVID, you didn't say shit. And then that shit got out to the world and killed, like, fucking millions of people. And you're telling me that the UN does not want to be like, all right, China, we're going to need to see what you're doing. Bro, y'all, <laughs> y'all wildin'. This is why Ugh. humanity is gonna die because y'all gonna let this go through. Y'all let shit like this go through. Sweatshops. Yeah. Well, and I, I feel bad, but let, let's just. And there's like this. there's still unfortunately a lot of money into bending it to China. That's why there's a bunch. That's why there's a bunch of bugs that still move to China when they want. That still bend it to China when they want someone canceled. Mm. Y'all gonna doom him? China's gonna probably do something to doom humanity. And nobody will see it coming because we're we, you know we're not gonna say anything until last minute. And then the UN's gonna be like, oh, we didn't know. And I'm just gonna be like, guys, they did this shit before. You should have started monitoring them from the get go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what her happy story right there. Yeah, happy was sweatshops. <laughs> uh, yeah. What happened was, was next topic. cheap work. Yeah. <laughs> And there's still far too many, too much money for bending it to China, so that's why most, most of especially dirty countries still bend it to them, <sighs> even when it's as malicious as trying to cancel someone. Yeah, On a side note, I thankfully cool. applaud Case on for standing strong with despite all of this mess. This is, yeah, I agree with that because yeah, I think I am going down the rabbit hole a bit too much, but yeah, she deserved oh. nothing. She deserved yeah. nothing that they dished out. Yeah, let's go on the next topic, because like I said, China, China back to back to back just hurts my brain. <laughs> yeah, there's just one thing I want to say about China that I heard about, and I don't understand why it's like this. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this before, but I watched a video about going to China and some things that are common over <sighs> there that's not in America. Well, I'm one thing is, if you miss work for any reason... You have to apologize to your boss and your employee, or it's good etiquette to apologize to your boss and employees for not coming to work. Example, if your wife died yesterday and you had to deal with the funeral, you still have to come into work and apologize the next day after the funeral and apologize that you were out dealing with your wife's funeral. I'll tell you, I, sh I don't have to tell you, I shit. <laughs> yeah. I would Why you out like, yesterday? I was fucking uh, your mom. What else? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, but I fuck your mom. <laughs> no, I'm not. It sorry. was awful uh, sex, all and I don't want to have sex with that pig again. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> Worst ten seconds. Sorry of my life. that I was. I didn't come in yesterday. I was fucking your mom, uh, and. and then, I use no lube, by the way, and if there's shit on the floor, mm -hmm. I don't apologize for that. It, Just it feel was, free to step on it. It was stank. It's a goose it was, stepping ass. It was stank. It was musty. There was a bunch of smegma coming out of her. I had to dip midway. No way I was finishing there. Worst oh, 10 he, seconds of my life. Oh, <laughs> P.S. Oh, yeah. P.S. I took your little brother's fruit snacks, so uh, <laughs> you're going to need to buy some. You also have P.P.S. You also have a little brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't have no little brother. PPS, I kind of nutted oh, in her man. face and I kind of nutted on the floor. So feel free to step on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
we move on to the. Not too I'm glad. I'm glad. We're, uh, I'm glad that I'm naming it what I'm going to name this episode, Manual of Aggravation, and that's after. That's after Fates, Wolzitians, and Noble Phantasm, Manual of Accusation. This is uh, going to be called Manual of Aggravation. Because, because Chaz has been aggravating everyone even further here. China, the worst country of the year. Well, two years because the COVID thing. <laughs> All right. So what's, what's the next stop? All right. We're still on dumb news. We're finally out of China. Oh, thank God. <laughs> How many more topics uh, we got? Uh, so, P has been totally attention whoring and ludicrously whining their mascot in Smash Brothers. <coughs> oh, yeah, I saw this. PETA won't, wants Nintendo to put their mascot into Smash Bros. They're not. Get over it. No one cares about you, PETA. Mm. No one. No oh, one cares. Why would you? Back right. Right. Wait, Sakurai wait, wait. specifically said, "No, um, unless like in order for a character to get in Smash Brothers, he needs to be first be a video game character." And I'm sorry, your mascot was never a video game character first, so no, get over it. I, I want you to realize this: Peta wants this to be in their game only so they can sue Peta or sue Nintendo for the fact that they're beating up animals in video games. Didn't they try to sue him for having Pikachu in the game? Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they tried to sue Pokemon. They tried to get Nintendo. I mean, Mario for the Tanuki suit. Uh, by the way, they made like they made I mean, hack parodies of the Pokemon franchise. <sighs> hey, dog! It's a video game. Get over it. Yeah. Like, yes, it is a darker theme, but yeah, it, it's still a video game. Who cares? Yeah, I uh, I honestly have something for. <laughs> I honestly have something for this topic. You might, you can have to give me a couple of seconds. Like you got a grown man in a cat suit running around, stomping on um, goomas and collecting marshmallows. That nigga's obviously high. <laughs> yeah, and no <laughs> fucking acid. And then there's legal dog. Yeah, and then there's legal dog fighting in Pokemon's case. And then there's Duck Hunt Dog. <clears throat> Wait, he's been laughing at you the whole time. Now you're able to beat him up. Yay. Yo, that, that's cathartic, though. Hey, you can shoot him in the main game. Mm-hmm. If you're quick enough. You can yeah. shoot him, and he still comes back. Yeah. He's not dead. He's not dead, Peter. I love the horror game oh, that yeah. took uh, Duck Hunt. They made, like, the VR horror game. That was a good oh, yeah, one. I saw that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't seen that. It's a VR horror game. I think it's also called Duck Hunt. Shout out to Matt Pack who shout out to Matt Pack who keep making fucking videos on that game, even though I don't think it's that deep. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <gasps> oh, I'm prepared now. It's called Duck Season. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. No Wabbit. No Wabbit Season. But I... <laughs> and many people actually responded to this accordingly. Why are we eating chicken? A, stu- a bunch of nuggets being posted. <laughs> nah, a nugget died in the XP farm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, for the audience who doesn't know, Peter is a bunch of hypocrites. All yeah. Right. All right, we go on the next topic. That's it. Uh, yeah. That's old joke. They want the character I will in. Say this, their, their mascot's kind of cute, but I don't want it in Smash Bros. Uh-uh. Not even modded. I wouldn't even no. want your mod. No. No. It couldn't even be any of you in charge. I even joined in. Oh, dang. Here's what I think about this. Yo, yeah, well, that's delicious. <laughs> it was delicious. Uh, thank you, Peter. Uh, mm. We don't like you beating on dogs, but you put down animals and yeah. destroyed shelters. I don't want to hear you. On day one. You put them down on day one. And you destroy yeah, other I shelters. Amazing. Highest euthanization rate in the world, not the country, the world. Congratulations, Peter. You didn't even give the, you didn't even give them a chance. That's the problem. And then you want to turn around and be like, "Oh, animal abuse and shit like that." Yeah, go fuck yourself, Peter. Nah. No, what you do is you go, you take a picture like this, but you change it for like the incognito stuff. 
and wait till Peter says something and say, no, that's just, uh, I just use the boxes. I use the wrapping. You know, you're trying to get me for making fun of your Peter shit. I am a vegetarian, assholes. Anyways. Please do not eat. <laughs> do not eat animals. Animals are our friends. Dog, I'll be honest. Animals are uh, friends, not food. Uh, I beg to differ. Bro, I would just say this. If this was in a wild, animals would not think for a second to eat your ass. So, uh, yeah. It's all, all fair in love and war. <laughs> all fair in love and war. They think me is murder. I think it's delicious murder. But yeah, that's all I gotta say about that, man. Uh, uh, shout out to Peter. <laughs> I like a big steak in my mouth. Pause. All right. Let's <laughs> oh, my. Dude. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't think no, about it. Keep going. Don't think about it. Quite the size king you are, sir. Don't think about it. Keep going. Quite the size king that you are. Let's go on. We got the last topic now. <laughs> yeah, last topic. Totally last topic. <laughs> and we're <laughs> Sorry, man. Last time, okay, not go on, transition. Oh. <laughs> ah. Random. You missed the moment. Waluigi <laughs> Luigi invites himself to Super Smash Bros. in this emotional fan made trailer for yeah for Project M. Waluigi or Project I guess plus whatever. Uh, Waluigi yes, for is M. now. Playable character. He looks pretty nice. Um, I might get Project Plus just for this. Um, but yeah, uh, they made a fan made trailer. It was an amazing trailer. They did a good job. That yeah, trailer. it was heartfelt. Yeah, and uh, at the end, Toe was about to get an invitation. While we was like, Nah, man, that's the last straw. straw. And he just knocks Toe <laughs> out and takes the invitation. <laughs> wait, um, wait, think, and I'm thinking of another mod. They did something for Captain Toad or something. I don't think. Then again, that's either another mod or something else. No, there was a trailer for it, but um, I don't understand. Wario has Wario Land, Wario Land, Wario Wear, and Wario Shake It Up. Luigi got the Luigi's Mansion, and you know, Luigi Bros. Missing, if you want to talk about that game, yeah, <laughs> Mario's missing. Mario got all his mainland games. While Luigi, the character they created, never got anything. Yeah, Daisy gets more representation than fucking more while yeah. uh, <laughs> and all he gets uh, was all he gets was uh, the introduction from the from the Mario Tennis series and that's it. What about the other one? The skinny tall one? That's, that's Waluigi. Waluigi. Oh, that's Waluigi. Why was I thinking it was War you kept saying Wario? Yeah, well Wario is the fat one, he's in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wario's the yellow fat one. Which I, know, I was confused but... because I thought Waluigi and Wario were brothers. And they Wario, are. like, how. Then why in Wario Land and Wario Shake it, like all the Wario games, he's like absent. They don't mention him at all. He's like not even there. Because they're like well, technically the bad guys. Well, no, Miyamoto made a joke about Waluigi's in jail or something like that. So I think that's. Yeah. Thing. That was just a joke. I don't know. That's. What he was actually doing with it. By the way, um, Wario is not a good guy, nor is not a bad guy. They have never said, they have never confirmed that for some fucking reason. Because no, it's just looks, they're the opposite of Mario and Luigi, and people look at Mario and Luigi as the good guys. So like, oh, that means Mario and Luigi must be bad guys. It's like not necessarily because they don't work for Bowser, and they yeah. don't work for any, They just want to make money. Because WarioWare. Wario's not a bad guy at WarioWare. Actually, he has people working for him. He, he is a dickhead, but... Yeah, he's like, yeah. Okay, he has people working for him, he, and we were just talking yeah, about some CEOs that were shit. He's basically no, 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 no. the he, by me agreed. He's basically like, a like, CEO. He, he, he's yeah. basically a CEO personified. That's basically what he's made for. <laughs> like, listen, like, listen, he is a dickhead, but he, at least he's a fair dickhead, because he let people have their own levels and all that shit. He... Weirdly, he pays his employees. Weirdly, <laughs> but weirdly, he doesn't need them. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, but, Waluigi's not in that mix. Yeah, but you don't see Waluigi, or you—he's not mentioned at all. So I'm like, <laughs> Waluigi could have his own game. Like, you could have made a Waluigi RPG. I, I think it would have went over that well. 
like, Wario, lend your brother some money. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? No way, baby. You joking? <laughs> That's some good jokes. No. Like, bro, lend me some money. Fuck you. What bitch. money? Nah, nah. Nah, nah son. <laughs> Were you going to let me have that slice of pizza last night? No, didn't what think so. <laughs> Shit, bro, I think even Wario has like a fucking, like, I think even Wario has like a woman or something. Like, like hinting that he has a woman or something. And Waluigi don't even get it's mentioned. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it no, could. That's no, that's not her. Yeah, no, he wanted to steal or anything. Actually, I think fucking Mario's fucking Bowser, to be honest, how many times he had to, <laughs> to, to, to say that bitch every time. He just wanted to change. Why do you think uh, Bowser was rainbow in the Mar- Mario Nintendo 64 series? Now, listen, in, <laughs> in Mario Odyssey, if you have Mario in that dress, Bowser says, you look good, but that's not going to help people. I'll say, yo, I'm done, bro. Come <laughs> on. Let's go along, gay Bowser. Well, check out the game. That's it. Yeah, and and that was kind of also how the Bowsette the Bowset shenanigans happened. No, the Bowsette shenanigans no. happened because there was an artist that... Uh, it's because of the toe to dead thing and how the artist was like, oh, yeah, we picture Bowser as a female Bowser, and then they released that shit, and it, that shit blew up because females, ha ha, ha ha ha. Yeah, it's yeah. basically people with fangs and nails. They, <laughs> they introduced the Super Crown, and that was their own undoing. <laughs> They, they question Princess Peach for me, and I really hate that. Like, Toe to Day, if she put on the ground, then she becomes pretty much become Peach. Or Toe to Day, like... Peach. Um, she becomes yeah, Peach. Yeah, Peach. Which, which, they got me like, so is Peach just nothing but a fucking evolved Toe to Day? <laughs> like, I hate y'all. <laughs> now you got me thinking about this shit. <laughs> like, fuck. Yeesh. Yeah, wear that crown. <laughs> Yeesh. She's Princess Toadstool. Can we get a Chad Toad? Like, put like a crown on Toad's head and he becomes fucking jacked as shit. Hey, yo, Mario, you don't have to say Princess Peach this time. I got you, man. Like, flexing his fucking muscles and shit yo, like that. Mario's like, yo, Toad, where's the restroom? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Over there. The point he goes up, he's, he goes up and about to fight Bowser. Like, Bowser, I'm about to put you in the ground. Six feet under your castle. And Bowser just be like, dog, I didn't even capture her. Like, she's probably home. Like, I'm just here chilling. And how about you tell that? How about you tell that bitch? How about you tell that bitch stop hopping in my castle every time I'm trying to go home? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my. (laughs) So she's just coming to home home herself. What if they did uh, Toad and he has the same powers as, like, uh, Piccolo? So every time he absorbs another toad, he becomes more stronger. Oh dang! Oh. Like he doesn't really change at all, but he just becomes. <laughs> Minnow's watching. Why is on my screen? Uh, why Bowser, not? Why you keep catching? <laughs> Bowser, why you keep catching Peach? Because I owe that bitch child support, and she's not here. To- she's here taking care of the kids. I don't have to pay child support. <laughs> all right, yeah. Oh yeah, that's so how the couplings owes- happened. No, that's when you go, she owes child support, and she doesn't want to pay it, so I have to kidnap her to watch the kids. <laughs> Even better. Actually, I do not like Bowser, or I do not like the X, but that art is really good. I want, I want to put it past that. That art is, is mm-hmm. kind of good. Mm-hmm. I love still the art. Sucks. Art is so amazing. Still sus, but, you know. Yes, Still good, sucks, but that, 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 that's nice art. <laughs> I will let Bowser get a hold of me. I'm like, bruh, that's still a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard of transsexuals before? <laughs> I'm, good. I'm good, fam. I am. <laughs> also, it wouldn't be Bowser. It'd be... Bowser. With a it'd, like, it'd be like yeah. Bowser or something. It Because it'd be a be plan Bowser, his right? name and Peach's name. It'd be Bowser, oh. right? 
Pure. Jeez. It'd be like it, it'd be a because it's it's peach How about at, because toad at or and bleach. 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 Drink a lot of bleach. Bleach. Or power. Yeah, power. 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 Or power at. It'd be something because, like I said, because the thing is, it's play on toad it and peach. But so yeah. it'd have to be play on Bowser and Peach, but okay. that is not as catchy as Bowser. Yeah, yeah. that can't... wasn't as catchy and as fitting as Bowser. Mario, I gotta go see Princess Peach. He, he, no, he has like a lot. Trying to uh, rescue Princess Peach and Bowser's like, I got a present for you, Mario. He puts out a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> you can say, hey. like, Yo, bro, wait. Hang on, hang on. I got you one history. better. Epic, I got you one better. I gotta go save Princess Peach. And hell's like a lot of smoke from his bong. <laughs> Time to go to the Bowser Castle. <laughs> no, I got you one better, DC. What? Time to save Princess Peach. Eat some mushroom. Do, 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 do. Jumped in a uh, tunnel or a pipe. It's like, okay. Uh, oh, and he just starts seeing Bowser as Peach. Because he's fucked up. He's fucked up. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. He takes like he takes the mushroom and his eyes dilate and we go inside his eyes and we just watch him like a regular Mario adventure. At the and then at the end, after he say Princess Peace, they zoom out of his eye and he's just like, oh, he's like O D. And then he takes and then Luigi has to come in and save him. That's pretty much what happened in that um uh, if you ever watched that animation of uh, Luigi's Nightmare. Oh yeah. Happened. Or Mario takes a bite out of uh, Toad's head. Because he thinks it's his mushroom. So, the animator is um because I'm subscribed to him. It's um that does that, and I know exactly what you're talking about. Let me see if I can look him up because I don't, I can't remember his name on the spot. Can't remember your name because it's not important. Doug, hey, hey, I'm a content, I'm a content <laughs> viewer. I, I assume so much content in one day that I do forget. Don't be like me. Go ahead and create. Go and create your own content Jeez. and like be proactive and go outside, have friends, like go to parties and shit like that. I don't have friends because I'm a loser, but uh, <laughs> you know, be active with your life. Don't yeah. be inside the house. All right, let's get into the outro. That's if you can. Yeah. Also, gender bench nankins are a thing in fiction. Yep. Like go to like go to cons like go to concerts. If, if, it, isn't uh, gen- if it isn't gender bench nankins, it's Futanati. If it isn't Futanati, yeah. well, yeah. And it's all Nicole's fault. Just blame Nicole. No, it yeah. ain't. What? What? Oh wait, uh, <laughs> I didn't see nothing. Yeah, it's all Nicole's fault. Nigga, please. Damn, he's just saying that. Nicole's fault. Damn, he just went right in it. He didn't even. He didn't even. <laughs> Oh, no, it ain't gonna be Suko's fault. <laughs> I mean, it is. Be fair. It's all Suko's fault. <laughs> Dark One's fault. Real quick. Luigi's yeah, it's Mansion. all his fault. Real quick. Luigi's Mansion by MASH. That's the uh, YouTuber's name. MASH. MASH, okay. Okay. Let's get these outros. Nicole San Diego? This is your favorite multiracial Hispanic. Nicole San Diego. See you in the next video. I'm sleeping. Hot sot. Yo, it's been your boy Hot Sot. I'm still feeling a little ill. I'll get over it soon enough. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Superstar DC. That was me coughing this whole fucking podcast. I will get well soon, too. But at the exact same time, I am out. And, uh, yeah, go get some sleep. Make sure you have a life. Go get a life if you don't have one. Master Minos. This has been Master Minos, and until next time, be seeing ya. Fuck China. And this is Epic Steve the Big Boss Podcast. You guys have a good one. Peace. Fuck China. Yeah, screw Fuck China. China. Fuck China. Oh, yeah. All right. Just had to slip that in there. <laughs>